right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Not Included, episode 70. Yeah, episode 70. Hey, 70 episodes deep? Yeah. Going crazy out here. Scooter the old wavy bastard. Got my boy, my boy back. What up? What up? Your boy Mo P. You already know. What's going on, man? How you doing? Chilling, man. Chilling, living life. Enjoying, man. I'm blessed, man. Definitely blessed. Uh, no complaint. What about you? Better now. Better now. What happened? We got to fight somebody, bro? No. Them kids came back to jump you? <laughs> well, them kids. What kids? <laughs> when you told that story when you always, when you always got jumped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no telling where them, where them kids at. <laughs> no, nah, man. Your boy boy had COVID. You had the vid. You had coronavirus. Had the vid. <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus. Dang, bro. How, how that? How that happen? What's that like? Being irresponsible, man. Not not staying home like we were supposed to on holidays. On the holidays, you know, they said don't go around a bunch of people. I was definitely around a bunch of people. Caught that. a lot of people. <laughs> 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 okay, so how like how that happened? Like, explain your. So I went. You know, you know the boys. You know they live out of state now. So yeah. So we went. Uh, I went to my parents' hometown, Mississippi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. Thanksgiving we all gathered, and apparently, one of the people that prepared the food. Might have had COVID. Mm. <laughs> the parents, that's crazy. Yeah, so quite a few people got it. My, both my parents got it. Uh, my boys, their other grandma got it. Uh, Shauna, her great her grandma got it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's definitely the prepare the food. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people that had it. So that's definitely prepare the food. Dang, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Hopefully everybody doing well, bro. Hopefully, you know, your people, her people, you know, right, right. family. So, so I just sat my ass at home, you know, like they like we were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, so can't even be mad at him yeah. if, whether he had it or not. Yeah. You know, I don't know, but can't be mad at him because sure. we wasn't supposed to be doing that. For sure. But, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that you can avoid a lot of situations if you don't put yourself in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly uh, that Cause I, I could've easily Been mad at him Like damn dog You sick You don't even Have no business doing <laughs> But no, nah, nigga Your ass ain't Had no exactly. business Me I ain't had no business If you went over there You didn't You wouldn't have Got it Yeah Yeah, yeah bro That's what I tell all, all People all the time Like bro You just You can't You you can't get mad at People be upset About situations That they put they, Themselves in Yeah Like you know What I'm saying Like you cannot No be accountability upset. Exactly. You, you can't be upset like at that. Like you, you did that. Yeah. You did that. Exactly. I was like, like, damn, I ain't. But shit, it's all right. I ain't had none of the bad symptoms. I ain't had no lost taste, lost smell, diarrhea. Well, so what's like the you bad have? ones? I had a runny nose. And I think one day I had a headache. And I didn't even think nothing of it. I was just thinking like, oh, I got a headache. But <laughs> yeah, I feel you. But. And they and after I did the test and shit, they were saying that um those are the least likely symptoms to have. Like those are the ones that have they don't happen that often. Okay. So okay. and I never heard of them. I thought it was just lost taste, lost of smell, diarrhea. Got you. Got <laughs> I'm you. Thinking like if I ain't got none of them, I can't, I can't have it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I know somebody that's going through COVID right now. They got all the symptoms, like in bed. Can't move fatigue, yeah, the fatigue, fatigue too. I forgot about that and, one. Yeah. Uh, food tastes like, like shit. Like <laughs> nothing. She said it like literally nothing. Like I'd have been mad if I had that one. So much salt in her food. <laughs> <laughs> can't taste. Nothing. I would have been pissed if I had yeah, that the one. Only one, bro. That's the worst, bro. That's the worst. I think that's where the fatigue part come in and too though, because my dad was telling me that um he had that the no mm-hmm. taste and he had that shit for like he just now like really getting back to normal like damn near two weeks later exactly mm. really almost so 
Mm. And he was saying now his food starting to taste better. So now he really eating. So his energy coming back now. Yeah, that's but before that. he was like, man, I don't even want to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't taste nothing. Uh, that's crazy. That's like, they think about like not being able to taste nothing. That's just wild. That's just a wild concept of not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like not being able to say this tastes like chicken. Right. <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. Just, just eating just to eat, bro. You think people would still be fat? No. Nah. That's the part that come with being fat. Well, I mean, or big, or just obese. Yeah, I think that's just the part that come with being fat. You just eat, you eat it because it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Not because it's good for you. you know, the thing you, you eat, eat to live. Don't eat live to, to eat. Live. That's true. That's true. You just chewing on everything. Just tastes like yeah, like nothing. That's mm-hmm. wild. I already think like, you know, you already think about like how food tastes when you get a cold already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It already don't taste as good as, you know what I'm saying? Dang. Crazy. I think mean, that's the part that come with, that's the difficulty of eating healthy. Because mm-hmm. healthy shit don't really taste good. <laughs> you're right. Especially if you ain't, you ain't, can't season it, you can't fry it, you can't. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine not being able to eat fried wings no more. Oh, I mean, bent. Man. Listen, just let me, listen. Just let me enjoy. If I die, I die. Just <laughs> let me enjoy. Uh, let me die happy. Oh, that was the hardest part for me when I was uh, when the meat was not being able to eat fried chicken. Are you back that to eating meat? The, yeah. Okay. What made you just? I just. So this must have been recent then. What? Start eating meat. No, yeah. this is probably a couple of years ago. Really. Almost. Oh, that's right. Because we did. Like we a did year and a half. Probably. The other day. We did go to Mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is probably a year and a half, maybe. I had some bad chicken not, not too long ago. Oh, yeah. They did a they chicken and fry mm-hmm. meal. Not as good as I as it could have been. I think it'd be better if they add like like a more cheese and Man. like more sauce to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make it like a I ain't gonna say like a casserole, but you know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. Yeah. Like it, it got potential. It got potential. Let me say that. It got potential. But yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. I'm, I'm happy you're doing better, bro. Happy your family doing better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I know uh, ball. Still, happy. still get another week off. Got two free weeks of vacation, basically. Well, <laughs> <you know. laughs> so I mean, I don't get to go nowhere, do nothing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got any plans for this week off? You can kick it in the stream sometime. When I'm streaming. Shit, you be up late. <laughs> I'll be asleep. I'll be out. I'll be asleep. I'm still all last week. I went to sleep. I probably the latest I went to sleep probably was like 10 for a couple nights. And that was just because I stayed up because shows that I wanted to watch came on at 9. So I had to stay up to watch them. So what shows you watching that? For Life. For Life come on at 9. It's a 50 show. Come on, ABC, I think. I'll never grab my cup to get some water. Yeah, it's 50 show. Uh-huh. And then um, a million little things. They come on ABC, too. So, wait. <coughs> so I was. What's uh, Um, For live shows, about some dude that um, he went to prison, uh-huh. became a lawyer. Okay. To get himself exonerated. So it's valid. Is that the yeah. one? Who, who, who's in that one? Somebody in that one. Somebody big. I don't right? know. No, no. Oh, okay. But 50 was on there, though. He was on some episodes. Okay. 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 And yeah. then A Million Little Things is like, you ever watch uh, This Is Us? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Okay. Just a, a story about regular life people, but they all got their own little problems. Okay. But they all know each other. They all they're all friends. Gotcha. This is us, you know. Well, they family. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All million other things. They all friends. But okay. I uh, I did not see you like watch those shows. I didn't see what? you watch it like that one. Uh, this is us or yeah. million little things. Yeah. Yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> Both of them. This is us. And I'm mad. This is us came on for two episodes, I think, on a new season this year, and it went off. What? I ain't coming back till January. The winter break thing everybody doing a million little things i think last episode came on next week okay and then they ain't coming back till next year got you 
Got you. I just uh, I just caught up. Got just caught up the shy. Just got caught up in the shy. Are so oh, you watching it? I binge watching. You watching that. it? You on the new season? Uh, season three. I just finished season three. I don't know what season. Yeah, I think I think season three is the last season. I just finished it. Uh, I ain't catch the new season. I think I watched the first two seasons. Yeah, I I didn't think I was gonna like it. I didn't think I was gonna like. See, I don't want to tell you like what's up with it, but it's, it's season three just threw me off just in like one area. One area just threw me off. Uh, when you watch it, I, guess I probably won't about. watch it. So you can spoil it for me <laughs> if if that's the latest season because yeah. they took uh. Jason Mitchell off. Yeah, yeah. So, so after I watched that, and then the way they started the season with it, it was like, damn. Like, yeah, like what happened? <laughs> like, just like that? Yeah, I think <laughs> I think they could explore. Y'all ain't gonna gradually do it. Y'all just got rid of the nigga yeah, all together. Uh, yeah, I think they could explore that a little bit. There, there are some storylines there that even if he was dead, they could have went into. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that really, really got me is this whole. Uh, you know what's his name? Brother died at the end. Uh, little homie the brother little, the, with the dreads. Yeah. Little homie brother died at the end, and I guess they got another brother who came in in the picture. Yeah, dude, uh, but Luke James, I think yeah, his name yeah. is. Yeah, I can't remember. Know, man. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 no offense. He I ain't was got, on New Edition. Was he? Yeah. Okay. New Edition, so. Okay. I ain't got no issues with. I ain't got no issues with with like this, like lifestyle or stuff like that. But he's like dating a trans. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I, so, I think I watched the first two episodes. So, yeah, and I, don't, and I, I, don't, caught, I, don't, and I caught that they didn't make it clear at first. Yeah, so but then I looked I'm like, yeah. So I don't mind. I don't mind him dating Trent. I think. I think that. I think the Trent. If you want to get more diversity, and if you want to get more diversity into the story, or more diversity into the shy, I think. I think they could have legit just took the trans life. And added it into the story another way. Like, like this was their its own. I that was I my issue prefer- with it when I first started. They just kind of threw a bunch of shit in there yeah, so exactly. fast that didn't really mesh like, yeah. the way the end of the last season ended. It's like, exactly. damn, y'all just threw a bunch of shit in there all of a sudden. And so I think I think that could have been I think that could have fixed I think that could have fixed fixed what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, let's let's create a let's create uh it, the story is is a shy. Right. The story is is a shy. So, homie was homie was not in the shot. He was where Kanker Key, wherever that is. I don't know where that is. I think they was in Wisconsin. No, I the, think they was Kanker in Wisconsin. Keys was, is, is Wisconsin. Oh, I don't know the name of the city, but oh. I think they were in Wisconsin. At first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So homie wasn't here. So and neither was neither was her. Um, so I think it'd just better if they'd have did it like a sty a a, a shy trans storyline, and yeah. then and brought that into the fold. How they brought all the other storylines into the fold, if that. But makes I think the sense. idea was that they was here, and they left. At least the brother. The, the brother, right. but the brother left when they was young. Like he don't even remember his brother. Yeah, he didn't even know. So that was at least <laughs> he, what, didn't, he don't even know. I don't know if he 12, found out. 12, 13 know. years removed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I think, like you know what I'm saying. I think that, that I think I think the trans could have been its own storyline brought into the fold. Even if they wanted to make the brother date her, you know what I'm saying? But I think it could have been its own storyline instead of like, it just felt like, hey, let's get some trans representation in here. That's what I felt like happened. That, yeah. That's so. exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's just, it is, you know. It's this whole thing now where everybody trying to be so inclusive. You don't know. You don't want to leave nobody out. But I mean, my only thing about the inclusive stuff and that 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 irritates me is is the two for one. Have you been noticing the two for one? Mm-mm. And predominantly you white shows, predominantly white shows, the black person is gay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. think I brought, have I brought this up before? No, I don't think so. Uh, bro. Yeah, bro. I, so I think that's my that's yeah. been, been my issue with like inclusion and stuff like that. It's it's the two for one models. Let's get the black person and make them gay, yeah. and which is fine. I don't mind black gay people, but it just seems like in a lot of predominantly white shows that they make the yeah, yeah. Nah, and that's a whole another argument. I mean, we talked about that on here yeah. before. I don't know if you was on. I think you might have been on that episode, but how we were saying like, just like how you said, like why why the black dude always got to be the gay dude too? Yeah, like why he can't why just be the black dude? Why can't be the black dude? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like. 
bro. They always they they be hitting us with the two for one. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hey, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not in Hollywood. I'm not in Hollywood. So yeah. I mean, because that's how I feel. Even with all the shows, like when all the shows finally came back, they all like most of the ones mm-hmm. that I watch at least, they all started off with everything that been going on like since the pandemic happened. Okay. And really, because like this is us. It wasn't really a race type of show. Like they didn't mm-hmm. really put it in there like that. In the very first episode, they go right into um, Randall. Randall's the black brother. Um, like feeling some type of way about how in his household growing up, they never talked about black issues. It's like this. This shit been on for this like the <laughs> third or fourth season, y'all. Just now getting into this. Like I don't like that. That's that whole just throwing shit in there just because. Like it's been three or four seasons of this shit, and y'all finally now yeah. want to throw in like, oh, he didn't race shit wasn't brought up yeah. in his household when he was like, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. That's funny. Uh, that, that was funny. Like it, it's very like. uh Inclusion. Let's let's get this in here. This is what's going on. Type. Thing. I never watched this as us. I'm not yeah. a big uh, fan of dramas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I said that to you before. But like, I like the shot because it's funny too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if it's gonna be a drama, it gotta have uh, comedic. Yeah. I think for that. me, what I like about this is us is oddly enough, it's like you. It's still stuff you got to figure out. Like, and that's what I like what about watching stuff. Like, cause I like crime stuff. Okay. That's what I mostly watch. Okay. Like I watch SUV, Law and Order. I, I, I ain't got Chicago jiggy with none PD. Of those. I ain't got jiggy with none of those. Like, and just cause yeah. I like to watch it and like think like, oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So this is us kind of got that where it's like, okay, where's the story going next? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I like. I like to be on the edge of my seat. Like, oh, what's gonna, what's about to happen next? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's why I like it. Okay. You, 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 you be falling for the cliffhangers, bro? Yeah. <laughs> falling for the cliffhangers, bro. He be cliffhanging, bro. I feel you. I feel you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I watch. Did we talk about... Uh, I tell you, I was watching a show called Utopia. Oh, um, no. You, okay. I think I heard of it. No, Utopia is crazy, bro. I watched like... I have watched like three... I watched like four good shows back to back. So I was like watching Shy. I watch Utopia. Utopia is about uh these kids who follow uh a comic book. They're like they follow this comic book, right? Mm-hmm. And they it's like the comic book has a cult following, right? And it's just not like no regular or comic like these these kids believe in this comic book. Like we read we read we read the pages of a comic book, and we read we we look at the, the pictures and the story. They're diving deep into it. And so the I guess this new issue of this comic book came out and that's been missing and uh everybody's after this comic book and shit get real real quick. What did this come on? This come it came on Well, either, what do you watch it on? Amazon or HBO? Okay. One of the two. Um I didn't want to watch it, but they like they was like, Hey, w- like watch this. They was like, watch this, watch you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I fell for the ad- advertising. I fell for pushing it down my throat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But it was valid. It was yeah. like it was not what I was expecting. It was it was very adult like. So yeah, watch that. Uh why so I wanna ask you why why you don't like dramas? Cause don't nobody go through that much shit. They, I mean, people that much shit in life, but dog, so what about like uh, stuff that's based on real life stuff? Like for life, for life is based off a real life person. I, so I, it's I, a I, drama, but it is based off a real life person. I'll probably watch that. I'll probably watch that. Uh, but I, I have a hard, I have a, I have an issue just with. So you don't like power. No, I, I have an issue with people making bad decisions <laughs> or stupid decisions. Yeah, like like it, that. Like, I don't have ex- anxiety, but that that irks the fuck out of me, bro. You one of the people that talk it, talk about it. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you one of the people. I'll be talking back. I'll, <laughs> I'll be talking back, but it 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 bothers, it bothers the fuck out of me, bro. When people make stupid decisions back to back to back to back, yeah. Or when everybody around us making stupid decisions. It, so I cannot get into dramas. Like, 
bro, you, we all know what what the correct outcome was here, what the right thing to do, and you just gonna do the opposite of right. that. Yeah. It 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 bothers. It's just it that makes it so. And I'm not yeah. gonna say. I, I I hate that too though. When it's overly like that, cause yeah. like uh, like it when it's soap opery, like yeah. That's when I, I I can do dramas, but when it get too much, it's like okay, this is it's getting out of hand, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. and because that's how I got with watching Power at first, like yeah. it was good, and then it got to a point where it's like, okay, come on now, like <laughs> y'all can't keep doing, like somebody should be dying, yeah. somebody should be going to jail, like this, you can't keep doing this, and y'all still just going about shit yeah. about normal. It's like no, no, for sure. <laughs> that's what I, that's and I had to stop watching. I'm like, no, it's getting way too unrealistic for me. Yeah, <laughs> that, and that just because all the bad decisions. That's why I can't watch dramas. Like you ask me this all the time, I get the same answer. Like I can't watch bad decisions being made twenty four seven, twenty four seven. Like it just don't make sense. Why? Why do you have to choose the bad decision twenty four seven? Why? Yeah, I think I think that's why I think this is us and like a million little things is a little different because it's like it's not the person making bad decisions. It's stuff coming into their life that alters their life. Okay, that kind of make them have to do things different. Okay, I feel you on that. A little bit more realistic. Like it's still crazy. Like. Dramatized, like damn, like <laughs> damn, that's fucked up. Like, how you? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, like, I don't know. I think also because, like, I think my personality is also the complete opposite from drama too. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Man. So maybe I should dive into some more dramas because of that. Try to get a little diversity under, yeah, my belt. But I don't know. Yeah, I think. uh for me, I don't. Yeah, it's weird for me because I like dramas and I like comedies. Like they on the complete opposite. Well, like, <laughs> the yeah, but like I don't like horror. Like I don't really like scary movies because the shit is it's predictable to me. They, they all right. Let me tell you <laughs> it's like okay, movies. I know, I know. Okay, something finna happen right here that's gonna be scary. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'm not scared. It's boring, and it ain't got no storyline to it. Yeah, it's just no, no scary movie is scary. Until everybody dies, everybody has to die. <laughs> everybody has to die. No scary movie has just everybody die. No scary movie. I ain't gonna say no scary, but very few have everybody die. And then in every scary movie, there's always a scene where like the people start trying to fight back. Yeah. Then it comes. The scary movie is now action movie. Suspense. I think it's they try to make it suspenseful. I mean, I guess <laughs> it, that's what you want to call it, but still, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's still at the point where it's just like they not they they, they you know what I'm saying? Like, oh snaps! Now they want to fight back. Okay, wow. So this person's gonna die. This person's gonna die. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you kind of already know who's gonna die and stuff like that. Um, like, so what did you think about like? Um, Jordan Peele's two scary movies. Was it Us? The, uh, um, us and um, Get Out. Get Out, yeah. So good. So Crazy Thing Get Out is one person. It's one person. And, you know, there's also the endings and the original ending that he made. Oh, there are? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? No. I only know the one ending where he I, got away I, and... I, I want I want to pause this right now so you can go on YouTube and check out the uh, other alternate ending. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't know it was alternate ending. Bro, you got to watch this other alternate ending right now, bro. Like, if you never... <laughs> and you will see. The, and the alternate ending, I think, is the original ending. And he changed it. So... Oh, you know what? I did hear that. I heard that, that he changed the ending. He changed But the I ending. didn't know it was out. Yeah. Go ahead. But you just see it right here, what it is. Right. <laughs> go, ahead. <laughs> click, go ahead and click it. Well, they going to be able to hear it. So, yeah. Boil alert for anybody that's listening. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear it or spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I might have to cut this in the video. Yeah, you may have to. In the video for sure. Yeah. Just copy it. You know, he definitely had to take he, he couldn't make this the ending. This would have had black people upset. Because <laughs> I know I would have been Bro, I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps watching it. The fact that he's not even gonna try to fight it, bro. Yeah, I would have been upset. He not even gonna try to fight it. If I would have saw this, I would have been pissed. <laughs> like uh, after <laughs> all that. <laughs> Cause it's like, how do y'all not go up there and find something? Remember the house burned down. Oh, it did. Yeah, that would have been fucked up. So that was the original, um, the original, and then I think, and he was like, "Yeah, we can't do this." No, nah, they couldn't do that. Black people would have been pissed. I think I think I think it was kind of needed though on top of it. That ended? I think it was kind of needed though. And so like There's in a like, situation to real life, real life, real life, what black person was making out of the, making it out of there. What how do you fight that? Yeah, that's if the police come. If the police come. But in the original ending, the police didn't come. The, His the friend house, came. The house was on fire. Somebody was gonna call nine one one. Yeah, I mean, no. How close was the next house? But you, I think that's the thing. Like, like they probably in a, in a place where, like, you, even like how close the next house was, you, you could probably you could see a fire in a dark room from kind of quite a way. But that's and the thing. Can, in the dark at see, night, who's up? Like who up looking out and can see I mean, like okay it's a big ass fire. light over there. Yeah. <laughs> Not for you. And, uh, but you know also this is see this is this is why this movie's so deep though. On top of that, I know I know this is like years later and stuff like that. We talking about this, but like you gotta remember the cop was also there. The cop, cop was also there in the beginning. The cop from the beginning. I don't think I remember, remember, remember when the cop stopped him in the, in the beginning? 
on the way there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's you know there's multiple I asked ID for his ID and shit, and he was like, so, I wasn't driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wasn't driving. <laughs> so two two situations happened in that. So a the cop remembered the guy's face. He was up there. So was that the cops that were there that just showed up? Uh-huh, they showed uh-huh, up? Uh-huh. I forgot. I don't think they really showed their faces. Yeah. The cop showed up, pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Remember his face. Hold on, I know I know somebody else who was there that weekend. Especially yeah. once they get to identifying bodies and shit. Yep, that happens. Two cop also was just doing his job because there probably could have been reports of like missing people in the area. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And trying to figure out what's going on just in case anything does happen. I'd rather know what's going on in the area. And he's just doing his job and he's not being racist. Yeah, but then still at the same time, it's like, think about all this shit that they've been doing for all these years up there. They've been abducting black people. <laughs> yeah. And taking their bodies all these years. Yeah. And it's like, this boy, this black man, they went up there one weekend and all of a sudden now he in jail. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, hell no. no I, I feel, I feel, <laughs> oh, I, hell I, no. I feel, the white but, man been getting, it's like, but it's literally it's, like, I guess like how you said, it is literally how life is. Like the white man get away with shit so long and then all it takes is one, one, Fucked up incident. Yeah. For the fucking black person to just be in their life be over. <laughs> yeah. Like that college scandal. Um, you see the reports of like people going like people going to high school, you know what I'm saying? High schoolers, you know, parents in high schoolers trying to get their kids a better education, but look at the white people. They they getting out they already out. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That's what I just feel like. That's why I feel like that. That that scene like that, just with scary movies though. Like people, the, people always make it out. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one thing. I rather so see anybody e- die. There's even a happy ending In, to a scary to, movie. To a scary movie, no happy ends to a scary movie. That's, that's my thing. Two, two ghost stories. Ghost stories don't bother me as much because why ain't none of these people like? Why they don't be like Christians? It's always like <laughs> <laughs> none of these people ever go to church, and when they do, no offense. We are. I think we had this conversation already before. Like they bring over a, a Catholic priest. That's what I was gonna say. That's what you said. They're not Christians out. They're Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got. I'm fifty fifty on the whole Catholics are Christian things. I'm fifty fifty on that. I don't. You know what I'm saying? But. They always bring over, they don't ever bring over a Baptist or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Not denomination or Pentecostal. Right. None of them ever come to bless the house and stuff like that. So, yeah. So the ghost, ghost stories don't really just do it for me and stuff like that. And yeah, like people love watching the, what's the, what's the movies? The, uh, what are they? Exorcist. Not the Exorcist ones. And these are the weakest scary movies I've ever seen in my life, bro. The Annabelle's and uh, you know that all those stories are connected. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. they got they whole little universe. Um, the Annabelle's Polter- not Poltergeist. Yeah, Poltergeist. No, 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 no. Uh, let me. I can pull it right here. Damn. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Though. Yeah. Uh, oh. The man. Connected to uh, the Conjuring, the Conjuring, Conjuring timeline, the Conjuring mm-hmm. timeline. Right. <clears throat> All those movies are trash, man. I seen like two I don't think I, I don't think I seen any. Don't of them. watch them, bro. But people are so excited for them. Like I haven't seen one that was good. Conjuring, the one with the the nun and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they yeah. all trash. That was like the newest one, wasn't it? Yeah, the one yeah, with the one nun. But I, I, the one I went to go see, the nun was like in one of these stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they was just waiting to unleash the nun. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. It was one of them where the people had to move, though. That was pretty good. That was like the last good one I seen. Someone had to move. 
<laughs> like they get killed or something like that. But yeah, these these scary, scary horror movies are trash. Yeah, super trash. Never like, been for me. Yeah. Woo! I don't know how we got into that, bro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. TV shows, I think. TV, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I-, I wanted to ask you shit before we even got into my shit about your birthday shit. Oh, me going I'm to sorry, LA? You went to, a, you went to a couple different places, didn't you? LA, Vegas? Uh, I did one night in Vegas. Uh, one night? Yeah, one night in Vegas. Uh, so, like, I got there during the day. Then the end leaves almost like five, six the next day. Uh, did like a whole day, like, um, yeah, man. So I did L.A. I got got my uh, I call her my clutch out there. Like whenever I need something or whatever she needs each other, we just clutch up for each other. You know what I'm saying? We come in clutch moment. Got my clutch out there, and uh, one of my, one of my like one of my good good friends, man. Uh, shout out to Deja and Janelle, man. They. They they look out, man. We're like we get we get get around each other. It's just always just so much love and and, and vibes and positivity. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I wish you'd have came with me, man. I wish you'd have came with me, man. Hit up hit up Roscoe's. Yeah, hit up the Holy Moly Donut Shop, which has the best donuts I've probably ever had in my life. Yeah, bro. Donut. When I say in a donuts are filling, bro. Like if you bring those into work, you probably eat one or two. To, you know what I'm saying? You probably eat some other donuts. You be like, bro, I'm hungry. You can't man. go there and get a dozen. Huh? You you don't need a dozen. <laughs> you don't, bro. We was we was like eating on that dozen for three days, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't. You're not gonna smack four of those donuts, bro. You gonna eat one or two. You are gonna be full, bro. I'm gonna try to go, man. Next next year. If I, if if I say this, bro, anybody going to LA? This is my this is my this is what I will offer you. Do not try to do LA in three days. You need five or six days in LA. Yeah. It's too big and it takes too long to get to anywhere in LA. Yeah, yeah. You know Even now though? It wasn't like it wasn't heavy. Was not a lot of people it, really traveling. It wasn't especially tra- there. Especially now. It was there. They shut everything down. It was yeah, now, but it was it was still moderate traffic. Yeah, I'm not saying like we were sitting in traffic, but like it wasn't just like easy flowing. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, Hollywood is low key trash. Hollywood is so trash. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been told this before. I went. But That's Hollywood, what I, I heard too. <laughs> Hollywood is trash, bro. But also, I think I it, told somebody I was going. It was like, "Oh, you gonna go to Hollywood and take a sign, uh, picture about Hollywood sign?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's weak. It it, it, there, like. we, you know, you gotta you gotta go to Hollywood. You gotta see the stars and stuff like that. Yeah. It's funny. The funny thing though is, uh, the only star I really want to see was Jackie Jackie Chan star. That was the only one I really wanted to see, bro. That was like that was like Why my Jackie first. Jan? That was like the first, I guess, celebrity that I like. I want to, I guess, crazy about. I guess you know what I'm saying. He like, got a star. Yeah, he okay. got a star, and so. Well, I just wanted to like. Did you know he had a star yeah. before you went, or you I just mean, assumed? Yeah, that? yeah, I didn't get a star. <laughs> so, so me, it's so all talking Deja. She was like, "What, Jackie Chan? That's the only one you want to see. All the all these stars <laughs> out here." I was like, yeah. You want to see none of the rappers that been on there? Like, the only so the only other star I would have wanted to see, and I wasn't thinking about was probably Jay Z. Like, like I like that's how much I don't even know. Like I wouldn't even know who had a star. Like I I'm wouldn't sh- have thought. I didn't know Jay Z had a star. I'm sure most people that you think of that you probably want to see probably got a star. It's a lot of people over the last couple of years though that I seen get one, you, you and I was like, but like, damn, they ain't already got one. Like getting a star. Like like who like who. Like you kind of take time to get started. I'll probably say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, from I mean, I think what the delay on it is that um you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for a star? Yeah. You if the person that's getting the star pays for it. I never knew that. Yes, I just found that out. Maybe let me make sure. I might be wrong. This is but yeah, I think you have to pay for your star. Okay. So <laughs> so yeah, so so I'm like, yeah, she, she was like, that's she was like, that's crazy out of all the oh. people. We literally t- walk for 30 more seconds to guess who star we run into. Who? Jackie Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, from who's? Huh? It's from who's? So we like, like we were walking from like, hey, like she asked me who, and she was confused. And then literally 30 more seconds and we look over and we see Jackie Chan star right there. And that's about all I wanted to see at Hollywood because 
what Hollywood looks like, it just looks like a just you have yeah, to pay have a sponsorship fee of thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> have the money that you use to create the star, which is made out of brass, and terrazzo, the 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 black and red speckled material. The other half is getting to the Hollywood Historic Trust, who look after the Walk of Fame, which is dirty as shit. So I don't have anybody looking out for it. It's dirty, bro. It smells like piss down there. <laughs> it's not a good area, really. It's is in the it? hood. Yeah, <laughs> it, I ain't gonna say it's in the hood. It, it's funny because it's like the right side of it is hood, and then the left side is good. Yeah. That's what it look like, for real. So, uh, yeah. Then you can see the Hollywood sign right there. You can see the TV guy shit right there. Yeah. Uh, so we just went. We we low key went to go eat, bro. And I was just looking at the Hollywood sign while eating. So. Yeah, went to go see. Uh, you know, went by. So you had, I think I saw you say this. So you've had um, Waffle House, right? Yeah, and people Roscoe. So which is better, Roscoe's? <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny that people com- that like people said like Waffle people, House not really like people. This is what it is. People say like you know you do so, so Waffle House really don't have chicken and waffles, which Waffle House should have chicken and waffles. Yeah. You're you're a waffle, but. But people never so thought about that. The comparison was like waffle that Waffle House has the best waffles in the world. So, you know, I moved to Them Florida. Thin ass waffles? You know, I moved to Florida. I moved to Florida and then And um, I love Waffle House. Yeah. But. I love like Waffle House too. So I moved to Florida and then we got all these people from Cali coming. Like it was we had a a good number. I'd probably say like That's a that's a from Cali to that's a We had a good that's number what? of people from Cali. We probably have more people from Cali than the Midwest there at the school. But also HBCUs, I don't think, are as big in the Midwest as they are other places. You no, know what I'm saying? It's more of South East Coast thing. Yeah, South and East Coast thing. Um, so we do that and then uh, like people was like, oh, like like the thing is Cali people eat Waffle House and they be like, this is trash that's yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> that's and that's the thing so, Waffle House ain't really that it's like it's, it's two way in food <laughs> it's two three in food bro and I love it like I like it I get it all I, I, I'll get it all the time yeah. whenever I go south I always get it I wanted to get it last time I was there but last time I think I like cause it's so quick it's so fast and it's just convenient it's convenient. That's what it is. They really. I don't understand why. And then Waffle it's open. All, and it's open twenty four seven. I don't understand why Waffle House hasn't added like chicken though. Yeah. I don't understand that. Like, why don't they have a chicken and waffle? But the waffles ain't one of the best. Them thin that. Them thin. Them red. They got, they got the waffles okay that the Eggo waffles thicker than that. Them yeah. damn waffles. Yeah. I. I mean, it, the Waffle House. It, 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 they waffle got decent flavor to it. It's yeah. just. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That, that but Roscoe's waffle got a bang. Of, got some good flavor. Yeah. So, which, by the way, when we talk about waffles, bro, uh, uh, uh underrated, underrated kind of mental waffle is, is is caramel, caramel, caramel. How caramel. you say it? I say caramel. <laughs> caramel, caramel. People say caramel. You know, I, I say caramel. Caramel, caramel was a, a underrated kind of mental waffle. I don't think I've ever heard caramel. So, um, on a waffle in college, what it was is that we'd go, they have like. They had, so before they updated our cafeteria, which got updated my last year, you walk in, they had breakfast. Breakfast for some, this time and that time. After breakfast, they had a sandwich and waffle stand open in the cafeteria. So you could walk in and get your, like, if you want a sandwich or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was real, real not, real, you know what I'm saying? Not super super college like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so but it was it was convenient because i had class i wasn't waking up at 8, a, 8 a.m to go to the go to go to you know what i'm saying go get breakfast from a cab and i also i also had class at like 9 a.m right you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so because of that i uh i would go and go get the, the waffle hour like i'll go during waffle hour bro, yeah and they had they had like the 
They had like regular <clears> syrup, but the syrup was disgusting. It was so thin. It was so cut with water. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a good syrup. And, and the waffle was thick. It was a thick waffle. So a lot of so people it made just, it all wet and yeah. soggy. And yeah. So a lot of people <laughs> would just go in and get a half waffle because of how thick it was. But you go, I would go in and get that caramel on the, on a waffle, bro. And it was just the light. Remember, I might have to try that. You might, you might have to try. I that, like bro. peanut butter. You like peanut butter on waffles? Mm-hmm. You might have to try a waffle. You might put caramel peanut butter on that shit. Yeah, I like peanut butter. Yeah, bro. I so. like peanut butter. They do the peanut butter waffle at a uh, Waffle House. Then they got this cookie butter at um Trader Joe's. Never had it. It tastes like gingerbread. Oh, that sounds good, bro. And, and I put on that on waffle? my waffle. That sounds bomb. <laughs> It's fire. Bro, <laughs> is, there, is there any good like toaster waffle does besides Ego that's probably decent? I had like some all brand one that wasn't pretty decent. Um, it's this one that we get up there right now. I can't think of the brand name of it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. Yeah. I'm about to check yeah, it out. Maybe in my, in my I'm about to check it out. Hat. Yeah. So, I mean, I prefer French toast. And I don't, yeah, I prefer French waffles. toast. Yeah. And I was going to say, I, only reason I do waffles like at home is just because you can fucking pop it in the yeah in yeah, the yeah. Uh, in the toaster. I am at the way. age though where if I don't have to put something in the toaster in the microwave and I can throw it in it, that's like supposed that can go in there. I I rather throw it in the oven. Like pizza rolls, do not put my pizza rolls in the in the microwave, bro. We fighting. I would never do that, bro. Fighting, bro. Do not. Only thing I put in the microwave is. If I'm not warming it up, yeah, is oatmeal. Yeah, I put oatmeal. <laughs> that's it. Mm-hmm. And that's because, like, I don't do my oatmeal with water. I do my with uh, milk. Well, I used to do it with milk, and now I do it with um, oat milk. I'm, I'm trying to cut down on my milk. Okay, that's right. Consumption valid. of everything. I cannot stand oatmeal with water. Yeah, I don't. That know. is it's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> and people are like, it's it's disgusting. like, it tastes the same. No, no it, it don't. don't. No, it don't. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> so my, I had a friend that was reluctant to do it, like so reluctant to do it. And then she finally did it. And she was like, why haven't I been doing yes, this? Yes, it's not the same. It is not. Way it's uh, yeah. not, no, not milk even gives close. It like cream, it gives it more cream. Yeah, it's you know? not even close. Yeah. Like, it's, well, why, it's disgusting. Why? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Once I did milk, I was like, I can't, I believe I've been doing water all these years. <laughs> what the fuck was I doing? But I was doing it as a kid. So it's like, this is what I brought up yeah, on. Like, yeah. so I just kept doing it. Yeah, no, I okay. always did milk. I always did milk. I don't know why. And then w- once once I got older and I happened to read it, and he'd be like, oh, you can do it with milk. And then I just tried it. And I was like, oh, this is way better. Way better. <laughs> way better. I, like, I thought you had to do it with water. No. I thought that was the way you had to do it. And I just happened to read it. And I was like. With milk? Way better. Well, I, mean, I think this. one day I actually put it used water because I didn't have any milk and I scooped it all out. That was I mean I didn't have any milk. And I used water and I was like, oh hell no, I ain't this. No. You got me bent. You got me so bent. Y'all got me so bent. Not even the same. Not sure. even close. It's but, disrespectful to use water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. You had some you you had some you wanted to talk about. You said you said you yeah, on Facebook. Man. Um, got pull it up. No, so yeah, so right. I got the I got the I got the I was on Facebook last night. You know, I get I think a lot of topics I bring to I get on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, like like we all do. Um, and it was a thing where uh. A chick said, it was a meme. It was a meme. And the meme said, like, it was like a picture, like a chick was reading a text and she was like disgusted or something like that. And then it said, when a guy says, hey, let's go on a date. And then be like, pick where you want to go. Yeah, I saw that. You saw that one? Mm -hmm. I saw that today, I think. Maybe today or your last I don't understand why women are so against it. Before we get into this. You got any snacks, bro? Cause I'm hungry. You know, I got <laughs> some. <laughs> I got some chips. I eat some, some chips, lime bro. chips. <laughs> then a lime. Uh, <laughs> and a lime chip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I starved, bro. I ain't, I, bro. What? Mm-hmm. 
So what? you saying you don't see what's the problem with? I don't see what the issue asking is. Asking a woman where she want to go. Yeah, on a, on a date or on a first date. Now, ideally, I get what you're saying. I I can see both sides. I'm more on the man side because it's like, especially if if okay, let me let me uh separate. So it it depends on how you ask. And so if you ask, if y'all been talking and haven't gone on a date, and you asked her where you want to go, I think that's a problem. Because I feel like if y'all been talking at some point, she has let you know her interest. So you should know. But if I have never talked to you and never had a conversation with you, I don't think it's a problem with asking you where you want to go. Like this, this, maybe this is extreme, but you might be allergic to something. I might want to take you to a seafood restaurant. Oh, uh, I'm allergic to seafood. Mm -hmm. Like now I, I'm, I didn't try to surprise you and say, oh, let's go. And you know, we're going to be here and we show up there and you be like, oh, I'm allergic to seafood. So it's like I sh you should ask, yeah. but I f but I get from the manner of if we've been talking and we haven't been on a date and you ask one more she want to go that's a problem. Yep. <laughs> so I, I I I understand that from that from that aspect too. So say like we just been talking for a week and I'm and I want to take you on a date. Let's say like I work on a Saturday and I end up getting off. On Even Saturday. in a week, I think I and think I, she if she if she's interest, interested, women are smart. You can't underestimate women and women will do things on a slight to let you know certain stuff mm -hmm. and you really got to be paying attention. Mm -hmm. So I think even in a week, maybe you could, but not that, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, you good. <laughs> you good. You good. So I, I, I also believe in that also. Um, but I think, but I think this would ultimately boils down to, let's say, yeah, let's say I'm working and I end up getting off on Saturday when I was supposed to work on Saturday. So now we got time to kick it. Right. And I told you originally, like, we probably wasn't going to go. We won't be able to hang out next week so that I can kind of fill it out. This and that, yada, yada. This is my thing. I'm asking you where you would like to go because, because, hey, I want you in a place where you're comfortable. I want you in a setting where you're comfortable, even if it's not even food. Even for, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a familiar place to a you. A familiar place. So even if it's not food, just anywhere like if we want to go, like you know, you might want to be on a certain side. You might want to be on a certain side you, of town. You may want to go wine <laughs> tasting before you never been want to go wine tasting. So I'm asking, like, hey, like that, you know, hey, yeah. let's let's go wine. Never done that, right. or you right, want to do right, that. Right. So you may want to do that. So now we we are starting an experience together, new experience together. Boom. B. When it comes to food, it is. Even if, even if you say you like wings or you say like this, I don't know what you just, what you probably ate recently. So I may pull up to a spot that's known for wings. I got wings. You might have just had you wings. You might just yesterday. had wings. You might have just been there, been at that literal <laughs> spot yesterday. <laughs> you might have some leftovers you know in the crib right now. Right now. You just been to that spot. You and your other boo just got done with y'all date yesterday. Because <laughs> we're dating out here. We dating. Yeah. We dating. Yeah. And, and, and on, on on top of that, and and three, if it is food again, like I want you eating something that you enjoy. I don't want to, I don't want to just go to PF Chains, surprise you with PF Chains, and you and you don't like Chinese. And that's literally it. And yeah, you you might have your taste. You might have, like, you might be picky. <laughs> so I don't want to just take you to anywhere and you mm -hmm. and you're a picky person. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people like a lot of women, I guess, have issues with that. And I understand where the issue comes from. You you guys want y'all want us to be stepping up to the plate and doing stuff. Right. I understand that. It's like you ask me, you should have a plan. You I should, should have, have a what plan. you want. But ultimately, I am here to please to, you. To please you. <laughs> To please you and half of me pleasing you is knowing the battle and setting us up for success. I, I got this. I got this thing that I I just thought about today because I was listening to another podcast mm -hmm. uh, called Need to Know. One mm -hmm. of, a couple of the dudes on there, they work on the Joe Budden podcast. 
But uh, on the latest episode, they was talking about another podcast where a guy was explaining about what women, how women say what they want. And um, I don't think this might sound crazy, but I don't think women in theory, they want to be pleased, but I don't think women really want to be pleased. What? They don't want you as a man to to. They want to be. Let me take. Let me change that. They want to be pleased. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be pleased according to based on you, them instructing you. That makes a lot of sense. They kind of want you to just say do things, and it, for you, you just gotta hope it work out. <laughs> which is crazy like because you don't want to take that risk of messing something up just by making one bad decision Ooh. but i think that's what it is a woman don't want to have to tell you everything you got to do in order to please them they want you to just they want you to take charge and just be like okay this is what we doing and in turn for you you just gotta just hope hope it work out and hope they have fun Bro, that's that. And that is a dangerous day <laughs> in dating. I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what do you like to do? Where would you like to go? What What is something you would like to try? And if it's and see, on my that's budget, where, I think that's where it has to come in. Where you really do, if you're gonna take a woman on her date, you got you have to get to know her first. Like you can't just out the gate like. First on meeting her, yo, uh, can I get your number? And boom, then boom, boom, like, boom, I want as soon as you hit her up, like. Let's go here and like um, have some time to con- to dialogue with her and really but then figure out what she But women don't want to sit on the phone all day. They want to be, man, we are both in the entertainment business right now. Mm-hmm. You got a podcast, I stream. Mm-hmm. We have to entertain. We know what it's like to have, have to entertain. Right. Well, it has to bring content. And that's what, Bringing that, and we know, like, we have learned because you said this is episode 70. Mm-hmm. I'm on episode, I'm on like stream like 130, you know what I'm saying? Because I stream almost every day. Mm-hmm. Like, I had to understand, like, I had to go into things with a game plan, whether it's for good or bad. I have to have an idea of kind of a, a question that I want to ask. My stream, the title of my stream has to be catchy. Man, I, I used a trick where I used uh some song lyrics kind of sort of for my stream. And I think I had like random clicks on my stream before because of that. Yeah, because people assert s- certain words and those words are in whatever you whatever. You know, and then be like whatever has this word in it is gonna yeah. pop up. That's how Google search works. Like so Ooh. that's the same way YouTube exactly. or anything. It's just keywords. Keywords, you know what I'm saying? So because of that, like it's it's rough, bro. And so, in dating, am I here to entertain, or am I here to get to know? You're here to um, do both. Yeah, in a sense, you're here to capture what what I learned, and I learned this a long time ago. With women, mm-hmm. you have to stand out. Okay. And sometimes it could be the smallest thing. Cause women got a bunch of dudes throwing, they throwing it. They got a, a line of people, men lined up mm-hmm. waiting <laughs> mm-hmm. to take them out and do something. So in order to actually get to the point where you become exclusive with this woman, you have to stand out. What I'm saying is help me out a little bit, but you ain't standing out. Help me out a little bit. If you, you, you ain't the only nigga asking that you ain't the only man that's asking her, where you do, where do you want to go? What do you like? What do you, you got to change that. You have to change that type of stuff. We just talked about, we just talked about this. (laughs) We started off the podcast (laughs) with this. I believe in not putting myself in situations. <laughs> I mean, that's on you. 
to make that decision where it's like, okay, I, this made this jank for me then. I'm not here to be a man to stand out. I'm here. You're here to actually dialogue and actually figure each other out. And I, that's where I want to go. Like, I, if I surprise you on a date, what if we go to a carnival? You don't like people. You don't like rides. You don't like clowns. You don't like clowns. Boy, I struck. I, that's, that's, <laughs> I struck that already. But that's one. That, but it's stuff like that where, like, that's just even going to the hole where I say, like, you might be allergic to this. If I take you to a carnival or something in that vein and there's clowns there and you're scared of clowns. <laughs> it's like, oh, damn. Bro. But that's the risk you got to take. I, 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 I think it's just like life. Like in life, you just you take risks doing things. Like think about all the shit that you probably didn't done since you went to college. And think about how you was like, okay, I'm going to go here and do this and this. And you changed it. Like you just, you hear about that all the time. People yeah. go to college for this and one or two years in, they be like, okay, no, I'm not doing that no more. I did I'm doing that. this. Yeah, so it's like that's that. the same thing with dating. It's like okay, you're dating this woman, and you go in, you doing it. She be like, it's the same thing. She just happened to make the decision, not you. <laughs> so the, does she actually appreciate the effort? So it's just effort. They just want the effort. Is what you told me. No, nah, it got to work out. I think it has to work out for. For most women, some some women might appreciate the effort. They'd be like, "Okay, uh, no, nah, I didn't really like that." Um, and you go, like, "Okay, that's it." They might give you another chance, maybe. And if I choose somewhere that they don't like, do am I judged off of that? What if I take her to a spot that that does that has like, and that's why I think it depends. Like, how how long have y'all been talking? What if I take her to a spot that's like, man, we finna get the best swings for seven dollars, and. They give us a drink coupon for one drink. It might just for take her, taking her somewhere cheap. Yeah. But what if, what if, but what if the food is actually bomb? I think it depends on the woman. Honestly. See, I'm striking out already. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, it's that's what it is. It's the <laughs> roll of the dice. Dating is like the fucking casino. <laughs> it is. The dating world is like the fucking casino. You play the games you play. Some games you win. Some games you lose. This is what I like to play for Blackjack because I feel like it's one of the fairest games I can play. <laughs> some games you win. Some At games least you lose. Jack, they give me an idea. And it ain't always on you. Sometimes it's just. In Blackjack, they, in Blackjack, they give me an idea. They give me two cards. They deal me two cards. They like work with this. But does it always work out still? No. But at least they give me at least they <laughs> give me the hint. The hint. They give me the hint. Yeah. They give me the hint in blackjack. I think I think I think in today's world, even if like with that, like, and this might be creepy in mm-hmm. a sense, but like if if you Meet a woman if you pay it to, if you go to her Instagram, her Twitter, or you know whatever social media. It, I'm sure it's some hints on there of stuff that she likes to do. I'm 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 I will bet a, a lump sum of money on that. There is something on there that'll let you know what you can do for this woman in order to be intriguing to her. So here's the issue then. Now you just open up a can of worms. Hey, you want me to stalk her? That's why I just said it. that's like that could get weird. But you, me, I but you have to say that. Okay, like, but shit, a lot of women nowadays, they, they, I did my they give you they fucking social media before they give you their number. Oh my. So, oh my, just because we don't like each other. I got, yeah, I and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm saying like you probably are going to get the social media before you get the number. And then, so in, in, in time, you'll figure out. You'll figure it out. So then on top of that, what if I'm watching this? What if I'm looking at this stuff and this isn't like the stuff that she actually likes? Well, or, that's her line ass. <laughs> or <laughs> on social media. The thing is like, she, like, what if I see that she likes to go clubbing? And stuff like that. But and that I, doesn't now, necessarily and now, mean that she wants to go clubbing with on a date. But then that's the issue then. You get what I'm saying? 
Then you can find another way to do it. You can find another way to do it. Maybe, maybe like you, maybe somebody like you, maybe, you know, you got your connections at the clubs. You'd be like, you know, you can go here. I can get you this and this and that. And you ain't got to go with her. Now I'm tricking. But you, <laughs> but you can hook yeah. her up in a scenario where maybe she'll have a funner time. She'll have more fun. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting. Like, it's just like how you just said, like we in this content thing and we have to figure out things to make our content more attractive. Got to do the same thing with Giselle. Can't, can't do the bait, the bait that like, like I me and Cuzzo talked about this, like the basic shit ain't really hidden no more. Like a lot, like, I don't know if you've seen the poll, but 90% of the women said they still like basic romance. That voted on that. I put that like, how many ladies still like traditional romance? And 99% of them <laughs> said, yeah. But like, that's cool, but that ain't any nigga could do that shit. Any guy can do that. And I think, and I think, and that's where it come out where you have to really be paying attention and really put in like, I think it's easier. I think it's easier. You first date, let me know what you like. I get a sense. We talk. We move forward. Now I can just be like, hey, all right. Hey, like, be ready at this time for the second date. We can do this. I think I think it's just so much easier. And I, I guess life isn't supposed to be easy. Dating's not supposed to be easy. But let's just all make it easier on each other. Ideally, right? Ideally. <laughs> Sound Ideally. good. Ideally. Ideally. Like, I understand. You want you want us to step out and do what we gotta do and step stand up for the crowd. Uh but I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong on this. I just feel how I feel. You know, you should you nod your head, you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> That's why I say ideally, ideally, but you know, yeah, life is an ideal. That's not the way life goes, unfortunately. It does not. It does not. If it did, I wouldn't have got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> ideally, oh. I went shit. I went all the months without getting it. I was going out. I had got on a plane. I had been out of town a, cu- a few times. And didn't get it. I was like, oh yeah, if I if I can make it to when they get the vaccine, or oh, I'm never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Nope. You getting the vaccine? Hell no. <laughs> I already got it. <laughs> I got through it. Fuck I'm gonna do the vaccine for it. <laughs> you might can get it again, bro. I heard people can okay, get it. Okay, I got through it. If I got through it once, I definitely can get through it again. That's All the way right. the immune system works. Unless it updates a little bit. Like the flu, it might. You want to slide some more chips this way? I might. Have to, I might owe my dog a bag of chips, y'all. Y'all understand? Your boy is over here starved right now. It this might be crazy because I'm never this hungry around this time. <laughs> About six thirty. What time is it? Six. Oh, six yeah. or less. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I should. Uh, what's the name? Put a uh, Jared and shit. Put up with Chick Fil A. Well, Chick Fil A ain't Chick Fil A ain't no Sorry, y'all. For Sorry, all that. y'all. Hopefully, he edited this out. Hopefully, he edited this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Hmm? I feel like I had something else I was going to go into, but I don't know. You got some good topics on here that a lot of I didn't hear about. What's up with this uh, Casanova, DJ Vlad? DJ Vlad, everybody's saying he the, he the op. He the fed. Let's say he the, he the odds, bro. He the feds. What? Uh, Casanova got indicted on federal charges. I don't know. I don't. I didn't read up on exactly what it was. Okay. But they can't. The FBI came out and said um they used interviews that he was on, Black TV being one of them, where he was on there talking about he stabbed somebody or some shit. For real? That's what the FBI said. No, the FBI didn't say that part, but they yeah. said they used Vlad TV 
but on uh, on the interview on when he was on there, he uh said something about stabbing some. What, bro? They say he the feds, bro. Yeah, it's funny. So Vlad must be trolling because he posted a, a video today or a few days ago when I guess um drip too hard said he was a uh, he was the ops. Yeah, because probably kept act because he do do that like. He'll ask a lot of questions surrounding you doing criminal activity, mm-hmm. and but that, I mean, to me, that's on you. For the, if you answer, answer. <laughs> for real, Yo, for real. But I mean, he be, I mean, been like that. It it. I've never watched him. You have ever watched him? Uh huh. Yeah. I've never. I've seen clips, but I've never actually gone. And watch whole episode on his page or you know wherever wherever this is distributed on YouTube. Yeah, yeah um, but I be having some decent interviews though. Like you learn a lot from people on blast on blast. Um, you know what I'm saying? People be chilling and they talk, bro. They legit talk. They say like when um, what's his name died. Uh, gotta walk through the ceiling. Uh, what's that? What's the dude's name? Is it recently? It was a few years ago. Um, from Atlanta, got shot. I don't know why. Why I want to say bankroll. That wasn't bank a years, oh, bank row? When bank row that got wasn't a couple years ago, though. That was a while ago, wasn't it? Was it a while ago? I feel like it was. I might be wrong. 2016, maybe? 2017? When bank row got killed. Mm-hmm. The dude who had beef with bank row was on, was on, was on there. And he was like, bro, like, he told a story. 2016. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. Like, uh... And they, and, they, and they tell the story of like how that happened, how that went down. He was on there like, but he was telling like how they grew up from kids. You know what I'm saying? Like him and Bank Row used to be cool and stuff like that. Growing up for kids and stuff like that. And he he's like, he'd be like it all happened over a woman and stuff like that. You know, R.I.P. Bank Row, I don't wish that on nobody and stuff. But like, like I guess that's like criminal activity kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, hey, he's you know they used to st- he used to serve me and stuff like that and. All this and that and yeah, bro. So, like, but don't I? Don't, I don't get why. Like, why that's a thing now. Like, you see interviews of like when Amigos first came out, mm-hmm. when Future first came out, when uh, all them niggas like that. Like over ten years ago, when they first started coming out, mm-hmm. these niggas was in interviews, boring as hell. Cause they knew, like, man, I'm not gonna be on here just talking about yeah. all this shit. But now it just seems like everybody just air it all out. They put it in the music. They go on interviews and do it. They go on live right after they do some shit with all the guns and all the whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna blame Vlad for doing that. Oh, there's plenty, plenty of these dudes out here that do that stupid. Yeah, that be stupid on the internet. Somebody <laughs> said it like they they not gonna blame Vlad for none of this. They blame People for, for, you know what I'm saying? Blame you for being Blame. stupid on the internet. You know you know where it is going. Jay-Z said it too, didn't he? When he was, and, and what's the name? He was like, y'all just be telling me yourselves. I'm just so fucking confused. Like, you I don't remember saying? what that was. That was in, uh, on 444, bro. Oh, yeah. He said, like, you yeah, they saying? do. They do. Like, but yeah, people been called Vlad the Ops for a minute. So, and if you go in there talking, on Vlad. And people been calling him op. That's definitely on you. Hey, don't get me wrong. He definitely owned there. Like inciting it. Like really trying to pull it out of you. But. But that's what made him big. That's the fact but, that like yeah, people but, comfortable talking to him. But still, it's like it's still on you. Like you can say whatever you want to that. You, you go in there and be like, uh, Marshawn Lynch. I'm just here so I don't get fine. Yep. <laughs> Save it. 
No, for real though. Say whatever. For real. If he asks a question, just say whatever. If you chose to, to air that shit out, that's on you. Like, I, mean, I just hope you know what I'm saying. Hope you're not really out here in the culture though, working for them. He might be. Might be, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Let's see what The boy uh, Drip Too Hard was on. Bringing them up. He brought a, you know what I'm saying, like, he called a, uh, Vlad the op. He got another op right now. Right. <laughs> 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 That boy got a whole nother op right now. Uh, what's her name? London. Miss London. Miss London. Have you ever watched Miss London? Star? I definitely watched. I've seen, seen her. her. We all have seen her. Uh, apparently, I guess she claimed the nigga played 16K to hit. But I think she married. She, uh, she probably is. A lot, of porn she, star, a lot of Surprisingly, a lot of porn yeah. stars are. Mm-hmm. In committed relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, and said so Jada name. Like Jada who? Pinky? Uh, his his girl. Oh, that's his girl name? Yeah, she know. she mentioned his girl. Like, he ain't never leaving you. But you know what I'm saying? Like I know I, I think she said something like this that was the best dick she ever had and shit. Mm-hmm. So then say, then say <laughs> two words to her, just bent her. Damn. Took her to heaven. Took her to heaven to hell all in one. <laughs> all in one. All in one. You know why? I, I don't, I don't want to get into that part because I don't know how much yeah. of that shit is true and how much of it is wrong. I think she eventually came out and said she was clouding. She was clouding. Yeah, but what I will say, a lot of people was like, 16K for some pussy. What a lot of people don't realize is you not paying for the pussy. You're paying for the experience. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've tried to explain that to so many people. It's like when, uh, cause I remember when, remember when Lamar Odom got caught in a brothel yeah. when he uh, had the stroke or whatever. Yep. And they, they put the prices out on that. And, uh, I was with, uh, somebody, a woman, well, I just say it. it was my mom uh, <laughs> when they was reporting on it. Yeah. She was like, uh, she ain't say it like this, but she, Jake, she was like, damn, niggas playing that much with some pussy. I was like, and I say that like, right after she said, I'm like, it's not for the vagina. <laughs> no, it's not that. Not at all. It's the experience. It's every, it's all the other stuff that come with it mm-hmm. that you can't get from a regular woman or that you feel like you can't get from a regular woman. It's probably you probably can, probably but can. it's like this is here, and you like I can get this, but you don't have to search for it. That's mm-hmm. what I say. You like you know it's there. So it's like, yeah, uh, I'm never paying. Absolutely not sixteen thousand. Hell no, I'm never paying ever. So if I make it big, y'all just gonna have to. I don't know if y'all gonna mess with me or not because y'all gonna be like, hey, how much you paying? I'm gonna be like, I ain't paying. So, with that being said, though, uh, yeah, I ain't never paid no. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's probably like one or two that I pay for. So you buy OnlyFans, don't you? Yeah, I bought a few OnlyFans. I mean, that's not far fetched, is it? No, it's I, not too different. Most of the OnlyFans I bought was like for support, though. Mm-hmm. Like people I know. Oh, okay. You know some people that got. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you know nobody got so, all this. No. So, so since you said that, mm-hmm. your cousin was on here uh-huh. and said he was Star Only fans. So would you Star pay OnlyFans? for a guy that you know that Star Only fans for support? If my cousin Star Only fans, I'll be the first one to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the first one to buy, bro. I'll support, bro. I'm gonna take this little pedo right here. Go ahead. I said, uh, "Would you?" Yeah, I would support. You, I would never watch anything. I would watch like you don't need to watch but it. But I like, would subscribe to pay to support. Absolutely, go, bro. I got, like you know what I'm saying. I like, support. I support. I support people. Nigga, I bought um, I bought Darius album. 
I bought it. Okay. Because this last project he bought, uh, he put out self center. I bought it. Okay. That's what's up. Like, because I support. Like, I, support. I bu- and I probably don't. Li- I listen to it. Like, I go to it every now and then and play songs because I don't really listen to rap like that. Yeah. But every now and then I go to it and I listen to it. But as soon as he put it out, I bought it. Like, because I support. Like, that's mm-hmm. my boy. And that's my boy, boy. Like, I've known this nigga, like, over 15 years. <laughs> over yeah. 15 years. So, like, yeah, I'm going to buy your shit. That's what I'm saying. Know. If you put something out, if you put something out and it, it was purchasable, I would. Nah, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay for it. I don't yeah. have no problem paying. If you put something out for sale, I will buy it. No. Now, whether I would listen to it or use it. Is different, yeah. So, I'm like, so this is how I'm feeling, bro. I'm I'm done like buying OnlyFans and stuff like that, though. Let me tell you what. This is gonna sound so petty. So I'm in a stage where like I gotta support me and I gotta support those who support me now. And so, um, what ended up happening was like once I like started my YouTube and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, I support a lot of people. I show a lot of people love. Mm-hmm. I buy shirts. Mm-hmm. I bought food. I bought this and that, bro. And I'm like, bro, y'all gonna subscribe to my YouTube? And I did not get the same no. support. You know what I'm saying? And what? <laughs> I know it sounds petty, but it's 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 the truth. I'm not mad at you. I'm 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 not mad at you at all because for that because that's different. Yeah. Subscribing that don't take shit. It don't take shit. <laughs> all you gotta do is click click subscribe. That you gonna type in. Uh, what's your name? No, I, Mo, I, I, I don't even know what. I don't most know. Success? Yeah, no, most says bro. subscribe and you, and that's it. And the funny thing about that though is that uh, <laughs> that is, you know that is like I put the link there, so all you gotta do is click the link, like to the channel. Click the link, hit subscribe. I'm subscribed. I'm subscribing on my my shit and the not included <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I subscribed on both. And okay. every now and then I watch videos. Like <laughs> I watched one today, actually. The latest one you put up, I think you just put it up this morning. The 10 kills? I was eating one. Yeah. Uh no, um oh. the Spider Man. Oh, the Spider Man? Yeah. I watched okay, that. Okay, one. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. See so see so it's funny because you watch all the streams late. Like you don't watch the streams and they be live. No. So like no. you can't you do it in the middle of the I'm night. Not, I'm not watching that. that. I'm asleep. I work at three in the morning. I, I, I'm not, two in the morning. I'm not, I'm not upset at that. I'm not, I'm not upset at it. I'm not upset at it. All I'm saying is like, it's funny that you just, because a lot of people don't, so I appreciate it. Oh, I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I yeah. I go that, back you know? and I go back and watch. I, I go on to YouTube and I see it pop up and I hit it. I, and appreciate I, you know, I let it play. Appreciate Sometimes it. I'm not paying that much attention. That's, that's fair. That is <laughs> but, fair. That's fair. You know, I feel like we be having good combo, good combo in there, though. So like, I know yeah. you can only hear my voice, but like, if you like read comments and stuff like that, I feel like it'd be something. No, I like, have on the first couple ones when I was watching, I was, but uh, most of the time yeah. I'm watching when I'm down here yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm working on shit. Yeah. So I put it on, and yeah. put it on mute. And just but like, it, it's, it's easy, bro. It's real yeah. easy to do that, bro. And uh, like, so I was like, just in general, like, yeah, I, I feel you on that because I'm like, I'm like that too. And I thought about that, like, even with. Like doing this shit yeah. and trying to get people to join it, and uh, I had this talk with Shauna before, and I was like, "Because uh, I want people to be a part of this, yeah." But it's certain things that people do, and people want you to pay them to do stuff, and it's like, I get it, I get it. You got your thing. Mm-hmm. That you charging people for and whatever, and that's cool. But I feel like if I know you, we make it together. Sometimes. And yeah, yeah. Because I sent um, let me see if I might be able to find it and show you. But it was this this uh, post that said something about you know like uh, being an employee versus you know being a um, intern. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. This sound this sound interesting. An employee versus an intern. Sound real interesting. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, excuse me. Let me see if I saved it. 
But basically what it was saying, it was say it said something along the lines of like, I'd rather be a intern mm-hmm. instead of an employee mm-hmm. because there's no limit when you're a, um when you're an intern. But when you're an employee, like it's just a, it's a, it's a salary base to it. Yeah. And what I thought behind it was like, damn, I can't find it. Oh, damn. Okay, here it is. So it says, uh, here's why I love internship. Internship equals no salary cap. Nine to five equals salary cap, 250,000 range max. One will give you the chance at the whole pie. The other will give you a chance at a piece of the pie, Mm -hmm. which is the piece of the pie is the 40 hours a week regular job. Yep, yep, yep. And that's how I feel about what I'm saying about that. Like, okay, you want me to pay you to do this, which is fine. I get it. That's your job. That's your business. That's what you're trying to build. I get that. But at the end of the day, that's all you're going to be now. I'm going to just pay you what you want to be paid. But if this actually turned into something. Yeah, we grow. You still just an employee. I'm paying you what you wanted me to pay. Yeah, That's it. But if you actually become a part of this, and it's for now you're free, but when this get big, you're you're a part owner of this. You you're you're involved in this. You you which would make your salary more than whatever you told me to pay you right now. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That no, that makes a lot of sense. Like 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 do you want to be a part of it or do you want do you really want to do you do you You want to be employed? I got it. Do you believe in us as much as we believe in us? Yeah. Like to where you feel like you can act, and if it don't work out where you are doing this for free, you're not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, 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 you dip out. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, no hard feelings. You dip out. But on top of that, like, which is why I don't have any hard feelings if you don't want to be that be in the beginning. Yeah. Because I did. I tried to do that with you know, you know, you when you was here and we did it, and I we tried to get a camera dude. And he yeah. wanted to pay it. I tried to convince him like, yo, I ain't got no money like that right yeah. now. He was like. Oh, well, we can talk about it. Okay, like, okay, if that's what you want, that's cool. Yeah. Didn't work out. Got rid of him, didn't pay him no more. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it's like, and I get that. Yeah. But, and it's fine. You know, if you want to get paid right now, I get it. Yeah. Everybody got bills. Everybody got their own aspirations. You just, and you deserve to get paid. Yeah, that, absolutely. That, you deserve to get paid. Absolutely. That's, that's the, and you deserve I don't to know if paid. he deserved to get paid what he got. But yeah, <laughs> hey, listen. Look, looking back on it now that I'm doing everything, yeah, all the stuff that I've learned since then, yeah, I don't think it was worth it, yeah. But I did learn from it. So I mean, like you know, Jay Z said it again. Another Jay Z quote: "You know, set your price and go live your life." <laughs> and, that's why I said I'm not mad at it. If that's what you want, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. But for me, looking at it, I'm looking at it bigger picture. It's like okay. But at the same time, how can you put that kind of faith in somebody, especially somebody you don't know? It's like, okay, this nigga want me to join him for free. Free. And what if two, three months into this, he decide he don't want to do it no more? Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't did this for two, three months for free when I could have been getting paid and he didn't stop doing it. I mean, yeah, but it's also like you diversify your portfolio at the same time. Right. No, man. It's you got to answer that? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's interesting, bro. Like, you know, like if you, if you, like, like that, that, that it is always hard to follow to to have someone believe in your vision as much as you believe in your vision. It's, it's always a really hard task, yeah. but sometimes you know, I think that's and where I, faith comes in. At. I get it though, because a lot of people start stuff and don't finish. Yeah, a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people don't have the patience. Even for themselves, yeah, to put in the work into something and make something for themselves build. So I can understand if you join with somebody else, it's like that. You no, know, this is like this is like I'm gonna tell y'all like a plan I got because I don't know if you know if you seen like I got affiliated on Twitch, right? So mm-hmm. basically, I'm gonna, I can get paid on Twitch. Like people, just, like, yeah, I saw that. So, I, I think I I comment. I sent you something, didn't I, on I Instagram? Know. I don't know, did you? 
You posted think, something maybe. that said I don't know. I didn't. Oh, you I don't like remember saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so, don't remember it saying affiliated yeah. or something. Yeah, but it so, said something about you yeah. getting paid. Yeah, I get that. Paid I do Twitch know. Stuff. So like the terminology. I yeah, don't yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like people can like you could like get a paid subscription to to my channel, mm-hmm. right? Or you can uh you get paid subscriptions to my channel, or you can get a uh, uh like you just want to see me like. Oh, I thought tip. it would just meant you got. Pay for the amount of stream. No, no, Somebody no, no. can subscribe. Yep. Can oh, subscribe so I didn't know like that. that. Yeah, I would have subscribed. <laughs> you got to make that more detailed for the people like me that don't uh, understand uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm I'm do another post on Instagram on uh, like IG about it and, and Facebook, like what that really means and stuff like See, that. I thought it meant when people tune into your live stream, you get paid based no, on the so, people that tune in. So I think if, I can pay like like subscriptions. I can pay like tips. And I also run ads, and I think I get paid for off like ad revenue and stuff like that. Yeah, and that is what I thought. So um, I didn't know you could subscribe. Yep, and See, so I'm not on Twitch, so I don't did. know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything about Twitch. <laughs> and so, uh, so like I'm at the point where I, I need to like update some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I need to update some stuff. Can't. The issue is the money. So like the money. So now I got holler at somebody like, hey, I ain't got a whole lot of this, but like. I could give you like my next few revenues that I get paid from. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I'm expecting this, you know what I'm saying? Or like, do you, like, can you, can you trust in me? Can you rock with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you like, like, and then like, it would be something like where it's like, okay, what if, what if me, instead of me paying you, like if I'm, if I'm paying you right now, what makes me not go pay somebody else? That's like probably a little better than you or somebody that's, uh, heck, somebody that's a little, a little, Pay somebody that's like a little bit better than you, or pay somebody that's going to be cheaper than you. You and I feel you on that. Like, can I holler at somebody and be like, "Hey, how about you just be my graphic?" Like, "Hey, like I like I'm not there yet, but this is what I need. Can you be my graphic de- designer and stuff like that?" You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, get that, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> so like, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, how do I, how do I, how do I approach this situation? Do I approach it as like, look, you just be my media guy. Like, I need a media guy. Like, this me. You know, dealing with all I'm dealing with, and not saying other people aren't dealing with stuff like that, but not not to, not not to lie, I don't feel like editing videos. <laughs> it's part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> it has to get done. It has to get done. But I don't I don't feel like I don't want to do it. A and I'm not that good at it. Like you know what I'm saying. I could chop edit videos, put some words in there. <laughs> I don't make you know what I'm saying. I, I can't like you know what I'm saying. That's all I know how to do. And I try. I've been trying to learn some more. But trying to learn some more and then trying to is edit. time consuming. Exactly. Trying to learn the, it. Just the learning part alone is time consuming, but, but is a lot. It is a lot. And then once you learn it, it's still time consuming. Because I still got to like, until <laughs> I get it down like this, you know what I'm saying? Until I can do it like this, I'm still going to be going back. Trying to learn. Still. And it, it's, as soon as you learn something, there's always something else to learn about it. Mm-hmm. 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 Because I feel you on that. Like, I've been doing the video part. And I've learned a lot on that. Now, and then every time I learn something, I see something else new. And it's like, damn. Yeah. Now I got to learn. I got to try to learn that part. Try to, try to learn that part. So, like, so like I'm doing it. Like, I'm making it happen. But, like. And that's why I, I get where somebody, somebody was like, okay, I want you to pay me for this. Because it is time consuming. It's time, it's time consuming. You deserve. You are right. You deserve to get paid. <laughs> you are right. You deserve to get paid. <laughs> but, like. Right. Do you want to just be an employee or an intern? Like I'm interning because I'm not I'm not really getting paid. Like I'm getting paid, but I ain't really get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like I think so far I probably got like three people sub to my page and probably like five dollars in tips, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a lot. Like well, that's think, the money that's good. I think I think it's hard to intern too though, for like because I've I listen to a few podcasts, Milwaukee based podcasts mm-hmm. specifically. And uh, I wanted to help some of these people out, but I've listened to their podcast and they don't sound very inviting. Like I've literally heard them say like, you know, they really not trying to fuck with other people that do podcasts. What's the point of the podcast? The whole podcast is the, I, is, 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 is the whole idea of a but podcast. But you know what I will say about one of them? What? That one that I heard that specifically on, mm-hmm. the guy that said that isn't on that podcast anymore. 
So, but at the what same, did, what t- did they say when he said that? Everybody else on the podcast, um, I don't really quite remember. This was okay. a while ago, but uh, but what I will say is. Niggas be watching. Like, as much as you think people not watching, they watching. Because I've stepped our this shit up. Yeah. Like heavily over the last couple yeah, of months. Yeah. And what I've, done. I've realized they started trying to do a lot of stuff on stepping their shit up. <laughs> and I, I just think it's funny timing because they started they shit before we started this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you've been had a chance to do this, but and I follow them. I follow them on everything. I've scrapped it to YouTube. I listen to them. I don't listen to the whole episodes yeah. all the time. Yeah. But and um and I follow them on Instagram. And it's just niggas be watching. And I and and to say that. Two is because I be watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at everybody's shit. Yeah. It's like I'm I'm taking in all the information I can from everybody and on how everybody do shit. That's how you supposed that's to. That's how I've that's how been you able to do implement the shit that I've implemented on this shit. Yeah. The Insta I'm looking at everybody's Instagram, how they post shit, when they post shit, what they post, all that. Like even now, like, cause you know, my favorite podcast, you saw me watching it when you came yeah. in, Joe Button, they put Subtitles on a clip. Okay. And I don't know if you saw this week, I posted some throwback shit. Okay. They got subtitles on them. Mm. <laughs> it's like, so I'm watching. Like I'm everybody, watching. Yeah. and everybody should be watching. It's like, and that's how you pick up in information. It's, it's, it's healthy competition. Healthy competition. That's, I think that's how it's supposed to be. And yeah. it's like, I feel like I can watch you and see what you do and still be a part of what you do. That's no, that's valid. I uh, and on top of that, like, you know, it's it's crazy how many people have hit me up. Like, hey, um, I know you do the podcast and this and that, and you know, I know how people are. I just trying to you know see if I like you mind helping me out and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, I don't mind helping you out. Man, it's enough. It's enough out here for all of us to eat. All of us to eat. Don't just you know what I'm saying. You just don't forget about us. Like you know what I'm saying. Right. Like, I want you to be great. I want you to be great. And um, I think from you hitting me up, you know what I'm saying? I, you probably seen, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, I got asked this week, you know what I'm saying? About, about somebody doing that and stuff like that. Um, just like, just like the idea of, uh, just like the idea of that, like. That was the whole reason, like, I wanted to do this. That was the whole reason yeah. I wanted to do this was to be able to connect with other people. Uh, it's, it's the connection. And so, yeah, like. I know I, if, if you like say it gets big at this point, like you know, you're not gonna be able to connect with everybody. It's right. a no, it's a known fact. You're not gonna be able to connect with everybody. But at the same time, uh, at at the same time, um, while I can, let's let's connect with who we can. Let's connect with who we can. Yeah. You know, um, I had two things. One of them, I forgot. One of them, I say this. Cause somebody reached out to me recently, your brother. You said he your brother. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you're a real brother. I don't know if you yeah, talked to you about just it. Like, yeah, just like, yeah, just like, yeah. He, and he sent me a you, long ass message. You, you, I think you met just like he said once. I did. I don't remember. You better want. Yeah. He said I did, but he sent a long yeah, ass I message. I and it. I was like, and that shit like touched me, like yeah. for real. Like he listened. This is the whole point <laughs> that I did this shit. <laughs> This is the, this that right there just like you know you know what I love about him listening to the podcast you know he not from our lifestyle yeah he told me that he said that in the message he not he not from our lifestyle <laughs> so the fact that we are you know what I'm saying you 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 legit have a, a faithful listener who's not from our lifestyle that's the whole and the fact that he said that that shit just. That shit just gave me so much more energy to just keep doing this shit. Kind of reason why you, we, we chose not included, though, right? Exactly. <laughs> the reason why we chose that's not included. That's the whole, like, that, the name surrounds it and everything. Like, that's it's the, the point. It's just like, like yo, we irony. trying to connect with anybody and yeah. everybody. Like, nobody's, it don't matter. No one is not included. Yeah. No one is not included. I, I had to double negative that one. 
Just say everybody's included. Yeah. Nothing nothing is not included. Like, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. That's yeah, he, he definitely wants to get on, bro. He definitely yeah. wants to get on. Definitely have him on, bro. Definitely. I'm down. I'm down. He 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 sent me the message after he sent it. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. I didn't know if you responded said, back or anything. Obviously. It took. It was a couple of days because you know if he wasn't following when he sent it, I don't think. Okay. So it, it didn't pop up in the messages. It popped up over in the requested, like where you oh, got to accept it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he ended up because he did. He followed now, yeah. so I think he sent it, and maybe then he followed. And I ended up seeing it maybe a couple of days later. I looked. I was like, oh, there's something there. And it was like, then I read it. I was like, oh, okay. And I responded. So, and then he didn't respond until like a couple of days later. Yeah, he's, but, he's out in what's the name right now? In uh, Virgin Island. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, out, he out here right now. He out here. My little brother out here traveling, bro. That That's <laughs> funny. The funniest thing about it is like, like just knowing him, like where he's from. You know what I'm saying? To see yeah. him out in somewhere like the Virgin Islands. Um. I you know always I <laughs> I don't want to say this the wrong way. Hopefully you'll get uh they took our jobs. <laughs> so for him to be out in the virtual <laughs> <laughs> I'll play with you, bro. I had to I had to throw a shout out to you. So when you listen to this, you go wow. So yeah, that he's uh yeah, like you know, just seeing like your your siblings grow up and stuff like that. Right. But it, like that it's been like that all that been dope. Like I we didn't had a lot of people on um lately. Mm-hmm. Like uh, yeah, you like Jerry cousin was on, and then his uh, his homie that he grew up up the street from that they they rap and shit. Like that was a good ass episode. Mm-hmm. You had um, a you did a full yeah interview. interview, interview with, yeah. yeah, like it's probably some more other people we we probably want to catch an interview with. That I could probably set up some. Yeah, like that's what this shit is about. It's yeah. just about just talking and connecting with motherfuckers. Like for sure, we definitely could do that. I could definitely find some uh, some more people too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Get interviews and stuff with rocking with. Cause I definitely got asked questions like, "Hey, can I?" The it, the, the the only That's thing why is, you I'm gotta gonna come say back. Try. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'll be trying, bro. I'll be, I'll be trying. Be you, you understand, bro? You got here. I had to reach out to you. Why are you bro, here? Why are you here, <laughs> bro? Yeah. I reached out to you. you. Didn't reach out. Listen, yeah. listen. That's listen. last time you came. I think I asked you, you did. to come. Just you know, if I could make it, I could make it. Like you got to say, I was traveling though. I've been traveling. This is what I. I got my son, and this is like you. Know what I'm I saying? hear you. <laughs> I, I hear you. Two weekends in a row out of November. So, um, but yeah, all, people ask this all the time, and I, I need to say this: like anybody listening to the podcast, it is, it is rough just saying yes and no to people to come on the podcast. I don't know how many people ask you. And stuff like that. Nobody never asked me. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, I don't know nobody. Your brother asks, and, and only uh, thing and is, D-Bass because asks. sometimes you, know, you gotta you sometimes me. you gotta watch your content a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You you, you gotta. I think just a I get bit, it. I just I, a little I, bit. I'm with you on that, <laughs> but I feel like you can make that decision after they come. Yeah, that's right. You can feel like like you have it's it's not live. It's not so live. So we got the chance. But to I would, just be I would like, like to do a live. Oh, one. we're not doing that one. We're not doing. We gonna we're I, not gonna post this one. I would love to do a live one. I've I've thought about it. I would love to do a live. I've one. I, I've definitely thought about it. That's the whole. That's part of the reason why I got the speakers and shit is to so like if when people around they can hear they don't have to just hear our voices they can hear it coming out of some speakers. well i'm talking about like like but, we like a facebook live one where we record it still oh yeah uh okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i never thought about doing it like that yeah. live one. i think it'd be interesting that way people you can just pop in you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like can, yeah. can, on facebook live can you do like the instagram live thing like where people can Tap in. And you can talk to him. You know, like on Instagram Live, I think you can uh, invite somebody to your live. I don't know if they, I, I, for I, for a moment I know they took it away from Facebook. I'm not sure if it's, if it's back or not. Not sure if it's back or not. Yeah, I think it'd be fun though. You right? That's though, if you gonna come back. I'll be back, bro. Bro, why he doing me like this, y'all? 
Why well, he do it? Tell Brit- Brittany listening. She listening right here. Tell him. <laughs> be watched. Tell him he don't be coming back. Be watched. Tell him to join a a, a stream where he could chill and chat. Man, you be in the be middle in of the night. I'll be dead ass <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Tell him. I'll be be about watched. to wake out two hours later. Be to watched. Go to work. Be watched. Be in there. Be watched. Be in there. Kicking it. She probably be up. The baby and shit midnight. already be up. Midnight she dark <laughs> way to bed though. It's faithful. She ain't staying up past midnight. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. She probably ain't up no more with that baby no more. Uh, probably sleeping nah, through the night by nah, now. Huh? No, no, no. It ain't been a year. Well, he he's. I think he he does decent sleep through the night, but he be he be he be he be he be staying up late. He be up kicking it, trying to party with it. Stuff like that. So. Yeah, it'll be valid though. It'll be valid. Yeah, man. What you want to rock on that? Do you want to rock on something else? Or? What? What do you mean? Talk Topic. about something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. We can talk. We're going to talk about Meek. What about Meek? The, uh, the $20. What happened? What happened? They gave it. You ain't see that? He gave uh, $20 to the water boys. You know how the water boys are out there selling water? Yeah. He gave him $20. Everybody gave him hell for that. Like, damn, $20? Why they upset? Could have gave more than twenty dollars. Get out of everybody else's pockets. <laughs> get out of everybody else's pockets, bro. I think, and I feel like this is an issue. That I think that kind of shows like people who will like probably be rich, probably be broke if they got rich. Who will go from rich to broke possibly? Because y'all, all, you know what I'm saying. Y'all always feel like y'all should be able to give. So, and then half of y'all not, not generous anyway. Half of y'all ain't giving no money to nobody for nothing. So, yeah, throwing it out there. Go ahead. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, this is funny. <laughs> Real quick. Sorry, dude. <laughs> First person getting the fucking vaccine. <laughs> the COVID 19 vaccine. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, what was that? Insidious? Legion, bro. Oh, Legion. Bro, the funniest shit about this is I watched this movie this week. I watched this movie on Thursday, dog. That is the funniest thing about it. I watched that movie on Thursday. You're all going to hell. Your bank, reset, your bank is going to burn. Uh, I, remember, but, I saw that shit one time and I remember is, that yeah. part because I was rolling. I love this old lady. <laughs> I said your baby's going to fucking burn. <laughs> no, that's wild. That is funny, don't it? Because I just seen that. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That is, oh, whoever did that. No, they is wild, y'all. No, they is wild. This yeah. beak shit. Beak. <laughs> he, gave, he gave him $20 for one water. The more than enough. More than enough. I don't give a fuck how much meat got. $20 for a dollar water. They can go buy at least Low key to five more low key to big water. ass bottles of water. Low key to water, not a dollar. So you buy them in a pack. No, I'm and saying heat. They selling it for a dollar, and, I, and that's what I'm saying. I'm like to, to help prove your point. <laughs> to help prove your point, you buy them in a pack. It'd be like what three. You can dollars, get $5. you can get five dollars probably max for twenty do- for twenty five <laughs> probably <laughs> bottles. And that's what I'm saying. If he get them twenty, they can go go buy four or five more bottles. Uh, packs, packs yeah. and sell them, and today that's two hundred dollars. <laughs> so he, in reality, he gave them two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I want you. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. People, well, people don't look at it like that. They and that even just go back to the other shit that we were just like. People just don't look at shit. People look at the surface shit. Bro, he just like, oh, he gave him twenty dollars. Yeah, ah, but bro. they if they go put that twenty dollars back into what they doing, they can make that two hundred dollars. Exactly. Who fold that home? They tripping, bro. Like, bro. That, the funniest thing about this is that like I don't understand like why does it matter? Y'all act like he took the water from. He didn't have to give him shit. Y'all he like didn't he, even have to roll the window down and do nothing. He could have He could have just rolled on by. <laughs> he could have just kept on rolling and give him shit. Fuck them y'all, kids. And y'all wouldn't even know. Hey, hey fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He could have fucked He could have rolled on by. Y'all wouldn't even know he rolled by. Yeah. The kids wouldn't be no wouldn't nobody know. Mm-hmm. Ain't no ain't no telling how many times a millionaire then rolled past 
them kids, not even just them kids, his kids that across the whole country selling water. selling water, candy, whatever, and did not stop and give them anything. A thing. No, you're right. You 100% right, bro. You 100% right. This is like, that's why you know, most of you motherfuckers is broke. Because y'all, y'all, that's how y'all think. This <laughs> is no. surface level thinking. Y'all, all y'all broke people counting this nigga, counting his pockets. That's wild, bro. What's up with A Boogie? On some Casanova shit and died in. Too? And died in on, uh, I don't know what he got caught for. I know what G Herbo got caught for. What G, 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 G Herbo got caught for, um, it might be the same thing. I can't remember. But G Herbo got caught for, uh, I get maybe his people, I guess, was um fraud. They was booking hotel excuse me, booking hotels and all that shit under other people's names and people other people credit cards and stuff like that. G Herbo out here frauding? Dang. Hey Bo- what the hey Boogie out here doing though? Unlawful possession of a handgun. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He 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 could he could get off easily. Yeah. Rap rap game crazy right now, dog. Everybody getting indicted on some shit, getting shot, getting robbed, getting killed. What's Wayne then got charged. Wayne get caught get for, hit. Uh, gun possession. As a felon. He pleaded guilty. I heard Wayne sold his masters, bro, to Universal. Four hundred mil. I not guess whatever he owned. I'm not mad at it. I think he owned it all now. Do we? Yeah, because he 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 won his court case with. He won his court case with uh, what's the name? Birdman. for owning it though. I thought that was for uh for something else. No, I think it was like he needed. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm sure he got all of his stuff though. Uh, he uh. What was I saying? I forgot. What, y'all ever just had that moment? Y'all just forget what y'all say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said he sold his he sold his shit for a hundred million, bro. And I ain't mad at him. It's smart. It's a smart play. Yeah, a lot of people doing it. How much money? How much more money is he gonna have with that? That's what I'm saying. A lot like, of people doing. It. Scooter Brown owned what's the name Masters. He sold him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Taylor Swift. Somebody else in hip hop. So just sold they shit too. Couple months ago, like if you younger, bro, and stuff like that, and you you got time, bro, you want to keep your money. But you know what I'm saying? Make your money off of it, and then go back and sell it, bro. Like, yeah, bro. That's yeah. Oh, he he say he owns all of that money. It is his shit. Hmm. What, uh, you, I see. Uh, what's the name? Said something too. Mm-hmm. What y'all thug? On, y'all thug on three K. Oh, you ain't see that? He no. was on uh, Ti podcast. He said, you know, he don't know nothing about Andre. He said he don't listen to his music. He said he can't rap two songs. He said two songs and two verses. Either way, whatever. A three K. How you feel about it? Disrespectful. The man paved the way for you to do all the shit that you doing. He did all the shit you doing. He did where, before. Where, where y'all thug at? Where he from? Atlanta. He from Atlanta, right? Yeah. Paid away for do you do he he That's wore the, he wore yeah. skirts before you before you even probably thought about rapping. <laughs> 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 he was he was singing when he can't sing on. He did all that shit you was doing before you did it. I already told you, y'all already know how I feel about 3K. And for anybody that don't know how I feel about 3K. I don't know. I don't remember. If you did say it, but I don't remember. I got I got a problem with people putting 3K in the top 10. Because he's solo albums? Because of solo albums and stuff like that. I think he's great. You know what I'm saying? Why though? Why does that have to do? He put out what he put out, and what he put out is incredible. So, I don't mind. if you, I think if you put 3K in top 10, you got to put a big boy with him. I think it has to be like Andre, 3K, and Big Boy. 
together. Cause I think Big Boy can rap. Big Boy call. Like, he called bro. Any many decisions <laughs> getting off. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to, you can, I guess. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But that's how I feel. I feel like there's too many other rappers who got those albums and stuff like that. Who, you know what I'm saying? I think they top group. Top five group ever. Probably putting Wu Tang. I, I don't. I don't. But I don't think that's fair because it's kind of like, like I'm gonna try maybe see if this will work because it's kind of like because I know you hate when people say uh, like what somebody could have been, right? Yeah. Because I know I talked about like how Dwight Howard could have been oh, Shaq, yeah, bro. Yeah, and I know you hated that. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> I feel like that's the. I feel like you kind of doing the same thing with Andre three thousand. No, it's I'm, like I'm literally no, 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 no. This is different. This is different because what I'm saying is he don't have like the number ones, the accolades to go with that. Like I think he's, I think he's up there. I think he's up there, but I just don't. But think. and that's what I'm saying. If you you're I, throwing something else in there, that's if we talking about pure rapping ability. It, but my, my top 10 got more than just pure rapping ability. My top 10, I think, is all is everything all together. But that's what I'm saying. Sometimes that's not fair because if you want to re- say like top 10 lyricists, I'm cool with that. I think, but I think like you but do like top 10 rappers of all time. You can't do that. Top 10 lyrics, I feel you. I give you that. Okay. I give you that. But if you're going to do like top 10 rappers, you, you can't. You, there's no way. No way. To me. I mean, I'm not going to argue against you and what you feel, yeah. but I'm just saying <laughs> like. I do believe he, like he's the top 10 lyricist of all time. I, like, but. Like, I don't know. It's just like when you say rapper, rappers come with some of everything. Like, hello. I feel like artist lyrics. is. Well, of everything. I feel like a rapper is an artist. A rapper is a rapper, but a it's rap a artist is different, I think, to me. I, I just I just feel like rapper like rapper is just everything. Like but like if you want to say like best flow, like some rappers that got best flow, like I feel like I don't put it like I don't feel like I don't put ASAP Rocky in like one of the best rappers, top ten rappers, but I feel like he has like the best flow. You get what I'm saying? Right. Um, and stuff like that. So, like, um, what's up, Insight? So, like, and just in general, so, like, like when I talk about best rappers, I'm t- I'm, I'm going to say, like, like, if I do, like, my top 10, did I ever do my top? I think I did the top 10, basically. I don't remember. Like, I do, like, a, like, like, Jay Z, Rakim, uh, I take big over Pac, uh, and, a re- and like, uh, big over Pac, I do, um, Wayne M. Um, Wayne M. Uh, I put in Drake in there. And then I'm probably going to round it out with like J. Cole, J. Cole, Kendrick, KRS1. I'm probably where I'm going. That's just me, though. It's a weird ass. Top <laughs> ten. I think I said eleven. Just like how you drop, no, just how how you jump. Like you do, pretty much everything you, everybody you had in there was new, except for Biggie. You had Biggie, Pop. Jay. Oh, you did have Pop. I had oh. Biggie, Pop, Jay, Rakim, and KRS One. You yeah. said. Yeah, like five of them, and I think I think that's like eleven. I don't think I can. I can't name a ten. So, well, I feel like those are also rappers that like hit everything. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like lyrics, content, flow. 
Andre definitely sell, my top five. Though. Sales, hits. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, I think that's like a fair top ten when you. Yeah, well, I see. I feel like that's why you, I also. Put I feel like when up. you go into stuff like that, like sales and stuff, like you really got to know them numbers. Yeah. See, like for me, like I don't, I don't know the numbers on people. All I'm going is on the artistry part. I think the rapping, but I think the sales, the would rapping actually, and the song making ability, which boost up Drake to me, is part of the sales. You know what I'm saying? Because I will put Drake kind of like farther back. That wasn't like a complete like in order top ten, right? But yeah, well, see for me, I wouldn't put Drake. In my top ten, I, I don't even know if I would put like, and I I fuck with Drake. I listen, I listen to if all. Drake. I don't, I don't. I'm like that's funny. That I know I a lot of his shit, but I wouldn't put him in my top. And that's funny that I don't fuck with him like that. And I put him in my top. Yeah, because I don't look at that like the sale that like that don't mean nothing. Like that's that's well, that's in terms. Of, I don't want to say especially for somebody say like him. I want to say hits. I want to say more hits than sales. And that's what I'm saying, especially for somebody like him, because. A lot of his hits might not quite be rapping, rapping. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I can't put him in there because, like, as a top but artist, that, period. He's he's classified yes. as a rapper, though. But yeah, he is. But I'm yeah. saying, rapping, he can rap. He can definitely rap his ass off. Yeah. But for me, that's why I can't throw that part in there because he don't do just rap. Yeah, so it was like, yeah, he sells a lot, but all that shit yeah. ain't rap. I feel you on that. No, that makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If we going off, you, if we, you pop up right there in what? YouTube. Oh. oh yeah, you gotta watch that with them. <laughs> Put in work. Put in work. But uh, yeah, like uh, like if I'm like going off like content and lyrics, I'm I'm and all that. I'm definitely saying like Jay is probably like my number one, bro. Like by far, like J and M. I mean, J, yeah, try like J M Wayne. You see that, and that's why another reason why I can't put in sales is because my favorite and Who is the favorite? best of me is this oh, nigga ain't Karen even C. mainstream. No, uh-huh. Starlito. Starlito he ain't even okay. mainstream. I think Starlito. So will get I can't. There. You think Starlito? I think Starlito going to get there soon. I don't know. She been damn near twenty years in already. So it's like, Has but it been that long for, for me, yeah. But for me, I've been listening to him since for like twelve years now, since I graduated high school, or thirteen years. Yeah. But for me, like he the bet he's my favorite. And I think he one of the best, but he not mainstream. He don't sell, so that's why I was like, I can't throw in okay. sales because yeah. anybody could sell. I ain't I gonna say, I ain't gonna say anybody could sell, but I'm saying like, you don't have to rap good to sell. That's true. That uh, that is that is that is very true. That is very true. But I also feel like part of a rapper that was also like, like song making. That's what I'm saying. Those days are coming to an end where the people that can actually rap good. Oh, sell like that was a thing in the 90s like yeah. niggas in the 90s and before that like they could actually rap good but it's rappers they were now, selling but it's now, now I feel most like, yeah. of the top rappers now aren't the best rappers back then the top rappers were the top sellers yeah but it's not like that now yeah i feel you on that i definitely feel you my guy yeah But you can tell, like, Young Thug gave us a 3K. Maybe not, though. He know 3K. He know 3K. He definitely know 3K. He grew up in Atlanta. Ain't no way. Ain't no, <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. He can definitely and then everything he do is th- yeah. is him. Yeah. Everything. What, what did, what did T.I. say? He said they should do a song together. He was saying, like, all the stuff I'm saying, like, he paid away for you. Like, he did all the yeah. shit that you doing, he did that shit already. 20, 30 years ago, 25 years ago. He did all that, all the things you're doing, singing on a record, wearing skirts, yep. dressing crazy. He did all that shit. It ain't no way. And then he said something about like, you if 
if you did a song, you did a song with um not Paul is it Paul McCartney? What's that song called? Uh When I Wanna Be High. That's how the song go that he did. But it's a, he did a uh sample basically of that. Okay. And of that song. Okay. It's like if you could do a song with him, like yeah, you do it with, with do it with Andre. Yeah, with for Drake. sure. And he was like, oh, well, and I think, and I think that's where it came from. He was like, he said, uh, he was like, how can I put this? And he said, uh, uh, Andre like his ass kiss. And um, I can't think of the name, but the dude that did that song, he was like, he liked the kiss ass. He was like, oh, he, you know, he came up to him saying, oh, I like. I like your song. I like this. I like these artists, these other artists. So it sounds like he probably already that. tried to talk to Andre before. Yeah, yeah. and Andre, and he, said, and he said that he's like, I got to talk to his, uh, his, his secretary, his manager, or whatever. And it's like, yeah, that's the way he operates. I ain't got nothing to do with you. I ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. I guess like some people feel like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie though. Like if I felt like I had that clout where I ain't had to talk to people People assistance stuff, but like he that. not he don't. I don't even think it's that he don't like the industry. Yeah, that's yeah. why he stopped rapping. Yeah. He said that. He said he, I don't like this shit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like doing it, and he stopped rapping. No, I'm saying like I'm saying like you know just like in general if if, if I'm the on the and I feel like I got a I got clout to where I can just call somebody and they answer. I guess I wouldn't want to go through. Nobody but it don't matter. It's like no, I feel you. But like, don't nobody owe you shit. They That's don't. the problem with these niggas. Like, they don't. don't nobody owe you shit. However, they want to go about their life and how you got to deal with them. You you either choose to deal with it or you choose to not yeah. to. Yeah, they don't owe you shit. Yeah. Well, for real, I just hey, I ain't trying to go. If I, I feel like I'm I'm not. I ain't, well, I'm trying to talk to your people. Elton I'm John. Me. Elton John. Yeah. I'm I'm this me. song. I'm me. So. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the song he did. So it's like, and that's what T.I. said. He was like, you did the song with Elton John, you should do something with Andre. But if you could just call like, Elton John and talk to Elton John directly, though, you're not going to go to nobody else. But that's... I know, I feel you. Everybody I'm, ain't the same. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not disagreeing <laughs> with you. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying if if I feel like I could call Elton John and, and just talk to him, why do I? Why do I want to go through three case people? That's all I'm saying. I feel you though. I, I want you. I'm, a, I, I'm Andre. This is what I'm saying. I'm not Elton John, yeah. and that's cool. That's not the way I do my business. And three K is gonna say. I mean, y'all you know, is gonna say that's <laughs> fine. I just no, but don't yeah. say the dumb ass shit. You I don't know. I don't know too, Andre. Yeah, no, yeah, don't don't be salty. Yeah. Like don't say, just say like, like he like did salty. this, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. That and then that's it. I don't, and Young Thug may not want to talk to people, but Young Thug probably just like to handle his business directly. Like, hey, let's let's do this. If we take off, you let's and do that's it. fine. That's he has fine. that right yeah. too. But at the same time, Andre can say, you know, that's not the way. I, he don't rap, and Andre three thousand has made it clear. I don't rap. Yeah. I don't like rapping. I don't like doing this shit no more. Yeah. So if you have to get this nigga to rap, I'm sure you got to talk to somebody else. And that person has to talk to him and convince him like, yo, because I'm sure any and everybody. You ever think we're going to get a reunion? Um, they did a tour. Talking about. Uh, yeah. OK. Yeah. They did one. When? They came here. When? This was like <laughs> six years ago, maybe five years ago. The summer fest. I wasn't here. Yeah. I went six years ago, probably. I want to say. Yeah. yeah. So they did it. They did a reunion tour. But did they ever, did they have new music or no? Nah? No. Nah, they did those. Shit. Yeah. But yeah. Let's build summer fest right now. Put the extra in there. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Yep, 2016, six years ago. 14. Or 14. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You said six years ago. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did it. But um, 
Yeah, the nigga don't. I mean, the nigga don't like the rap. He said, I forgot what song that was on where he was saying the big boy. Like, you know, I'm sorry that I fucked this up, but <laughs> I got tired of it. <laughs> Didn't want to do it no more. So I'm sure he still feels that way. Like, yeah, like, I still don't want to do it. Like, I will do it depending on who, you know, you might, you might, if you catch me at the right time or you send me the right beat or send me yeah. the right song or you the right person, well, yeah, I'll do it, but pay me enough money. Especially, yeah, I was going to say for the check, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> pay me enough money. Well, yeah. If I feel like rap, because I, who was that? Who was that up? That I, was I just want y'all to stop disrespecting Big Boy like that. I really do. Big Boy, if you listen to music, Big Boy be spitting, bro. Man. <laughs> like, Can you spit? Yeah. Like, sure. Big Boy be spitting. I just really want people to stop disrespecting Big Boy. For real. For real. If y'all need to just go back to listen to some Big Boy. For real, for real. But I forget who that was, and I know, I know where I seen it was on. The Bass posted it about somebody else. Some dude was saying, he was like, you know, I rap. And oh, no, not even just that. Um, what side gun from Griselda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said that. He was like, I rap when I feel like rapping. Okay. okay. You could probably ask me to do a feature because I think he said he was in uh, around Big Sean or somebody. Somebody he said he was around. No, uh, Reason. Reason. Okay. And, you know, he had linked up a reason that I guess they had something, a little something. And, you know, they linked up and, you know, it was like to squash it. And yeah. then reason was like, get on. It was like, oh, that's that's not how I rap. I rap when I feel like rapping. You can't just ask me and then yeah. I, I rap. Like, no, I rap when I feel like rapping. Yeah. No, and if you, if you happen to ask me at the time where I don't feel like rapping, that's just it. I don't feel like rapping. And that, I feel like that's probably the same thing with Andre. It's so like, you asked me, you had to go through my people. They said, they talk, talk to me. It's like, eh, I don't really feel like right now, right now. You just got to deal with it. Yeah. Don't take it personal. Yeah. I guess we all, we all just feel like, you know what I'm saying? We all just want that favor that one time, I guess. Like we all want to be that that guy. Like, oh man, guess who? Guess who? I got to drop a verse for me, Andre TK. Man, everybody gonna be looking at Andre TK for a verse. Oh, but you did it for. Right. Yeah, we had the right time. Yeah. Hey. Damn. Damn. And that's the thing about that too. And the last thing I'm gonna say, you can't say you don't know two songs from the nigga. Knowing you didn't ask this nigga to rap for you. Like, that sounds crazy. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know two of your songs, but can you, can you spit something for me? Yeah, that's, that's like crazy. That's not like a hater. <laughs> that's not like a hater, for real. Dude, just salty. I ain't gonna say hater, just salty. He's a little salty. We all been there. We all been salty about something. I've been salty about stuff. For sure. For sure, for sure. Any of this other shit you want to talk about, man? You got some dumb down. I did want to talk about that. I didn't, so I didn't see it. Go ahead. You ain't what? You no. heard about it, though, no, right? I have the not. Kev joke. I have not. He called his daughter a hoe. What? All right. So <laughs> the joke So the joke went. Okay. Um, this is on his new special? Yeah. Okay. So Kevin Hart on his new stand up. Mm -hmm. I think it's I Don't Give a Fuck or No Fucks Giving mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, his daughter came to him and said, you know, I like this boy. Uh, I don't know the name. John. Let's just say John. I like this boy, John. Okay. Tell him how you feel. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. She came back the next day. Or I ain't gonna say the next day, but she came back later and said, oh, I don't like John no more. I like, I like Rob. I was like, okay, but okay, baby. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you think you like somebody and somebody else come along. Mm -hmm. Came to him again and said, oh, I like, uh, I don't like uh, Rob no more. I like. Uh, um, How old is this kid now? She she's a teenager, I think. Okay, go ahead. Um, I don't like uh, Rob no more. I like uh, I like Kenneth. 
I don't, I don't mm-hmm. know how he said, but I like Kenneth. And he, he said, uh, first time that popped my mind, uh, uh, my daughter's a hoe. <laughs> like, this, this is this is hoe like behavior. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was funny. And oh. what's funny to me is that that was the funniest thing of the whole stand up. Like the whole, the rest of the stand up was pretty much weak. It was probably one other part that was funny, yeah. but the rest of it was not funny to me. And everybody made a big deal. Like, oh, you caught your daughter a hoe. Uh, we so quick to call women hoes and, blah, 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 and all this shit, and it's like, bro, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Ain't nobody, bro. A lot of people ain't come out to Chappelle after the stuff he said. Some people like did. Some people did. What? Like what? But like, like when he was making the joke about Michael Jackson, shit like that. That shit was hilarious. But, uh, like, like, bro, it's comedy stand up. It's supposed to make you laugh. If you're gonna get offended, do not watch comedy. That's how I feel. Like there are all jokes that aren't made in good fun. There are many of jokes that that aren't made in good fun. But like, bro, that's not the that's that's not a joke that wasn't made in like good fun. Like that's definitely a joke. Good fun. I could be tripping though. That's just me. It's funny to me. Like I said it's, it's the <laughs> only lie. thing that it was I'm one of, you one of the few joke. things. Yeah, <laughs> it was one of the few things in it that was funny to me. Oh, that's, that's and it's like. Like you said, first of all, it's Once a joke. Were laughing in the, in the crowd, yeah. And uh, it's like, first of all, it is a joke. But two, I'm sure he's exaggerating. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't tell his daughter, "Oh, you being a hoe." Yeah, for sure. He did not. There's no way in hell that he told yeah. his daughter that. Yeah. So even if he is saying that here, he did not say that to her. And it's a fair thought. <laughs> It is. It's a fair thought. People act like they don't. So I. I so there's this thing. Uh, I don't know who brought it up to me, or where I saw it. Oh my gosh! When you're praying, and you think about something else that's ungodly, like sex, or somebody dying, or killing somebody. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had that? Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like your brain automatically just does that. It thinks of. The opposite or the worst thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it automatically does that. There is nothing that was gonna stop his brain from doing that. There's nothing it's that just our It's yeah. just that's what our brain do. That's exactly what our brain do. That's exactly you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm unless I'm tripping. You know, unless I'm tripping. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, the thought in your head is like, damn, you, you, every other day you like in a different man. So it's like, she, <laughs> yeah. And everybody like, oh, you, uh, you know, you gonna mess up her, um, her secure her um, security, not security. What's the uh, word? Her, yeah. um, her, her self-confidence. Confidence. Yeah, yeah. Confidence, yeah. You gonna mess up her confidence? She gonna do uh, this and that and that. And it's like, <laughs> and that's why I said to to me, it's like there's no. He didn't say that to her. Yeah. He's making this a joke for y'all. He's exaggerating. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure in his mind, in his mind, what he he probably didn't think. Oh, she's a hoe. He probably thought like, damn, every other day she liking a new a new a new boy. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. And and in time, and to make it a joke, he just said, "Oh, I'm a, I'm gonna say she a hoe. I'm gonna say she's doing hoe like activity." Yeah. But you know the the problem that I had with it is that. This nigga been calling his son stupid. Stupid the whole on every stand up he's ever done from the birth of his son. He's been calling his son stupid. That is stupid. And like, nobody damn, has said retarded. a word about that. Damn near retarded. Yes. He's been calling his son <laughs> stupid every single special he's damn. done since his son has been born. And nobody has ever said Nothing. anything about that. Nothing. That's a problem to me. Nothing. Nothing. That that is a really good. That is a really good point. A- including this one, including on a new one, he called his son stupid, <laughs> 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 and nobody is saying anything about that. that was, oh, he's damaging his son's confidence. His son will never gra- graduate and amount to be anything. <laughs> like these are things that should be said. 
I'll be clipping this. You gotta clip this part. <laughs> this gotta be a clip right here. This shit is just mind blowing to me, dog. It just, I just, I, I, and I, I don't want to be this person. Mm-hmm. Like I hate to be this guy because I don't want to be the guy that's like I don't protect women. I don't protect black women specifically. But it's like I hate when women, and I'm not gonna say it's just women doing this, but I hate when people attack people for things that they say about women when these when it might 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 not be the exact same thing that's being said about women to these men Mm -hmm. but it's something similar like this it's like the nigga been calling it the one time he say something bad about his yeah his daughter y'all blow up the nigga been calling his son stupid for how many specials he got like eight is that and y'all ain't said a word. Is that Me Too movement, bro? Is that Me Too movement? That's what it is. Is that Me Too movement? That's exactly what it is, bro. It's 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 just wild to me. It's just it's it's like me that. Too as fuck, like bro. we all oh, we how y'all swear we don't protect black women, but every time women get attacked, they getting defended. That's true. But men ain't. So who to like really let me know who who's being protected? Damn, they finna be at your head after this one. <laughs> <laughs> they going to be at your head. I'm just saying. Doesn't Am I lying? No, you're not. You're not. You're not. I'm happy that you said it. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw that everybody was only like, "Damn, the nigga been calling his son stupid, stupid the whole time." Forever. From I, I, how many? St- I want to see how many stand-ups he got. Yeah. Uh, special. Yeah. One, mm-hmm. two, three, four. Five, six. What is that? I'm a grown man. First monster. Serious, funny, laugh about pain. What now? Let me explain. So seven, I think the new one. Yeah, we make seven. I think that's all of them. Yeah. So yeah, seven specials. Specials. The nigga been calling his son stupid. Fresh out the wound, he been calling his son stupid. Bro, son can't even play in the, the playpen. The, 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 what do you say? Yeah, uh, he just throwing feet. balls at him. He just, <laughs> just taking balls to the face. My son goes over there taking balls to the face. <laughs> so as a unit, we only look good together. And what's crazy is, I think the one thing they did attack him about over something that he said by his son was the... Uh, the uh the corduroy thing, remember? Oh. He said he heard. I I think they said something about that. I might be wrong, but when he said uh all he heard was uh saw his son humping, he just knocked him over. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what what are y'all doing here? What's going on here? What kind of party is this? <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, remember that. I was eating chicken wings before, <laughs> <laughs> so I licked my fingers before I walked over there. I <laughs> like, that, yeah. but the thing was, my son had on corduroys. <laughs> <laughs> so all I heard was brr, brr, brr. <laughs> somebody playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember that. I didn't remember that. I yeah. think they said something about that, but it was like, what the heck they gonna say about that? About him being gay. Possibly oh. being gay. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he did he get in trouble for uh, he got in trouble for something like that, didn't he? For the gay, uh, yeah, um, yep. His son was playing with, I think, daughter's playhouse or yeah, something, something like that. Yeah, he was like, like oh, I'll smash the, <laughs> smash the playhouse <laughs> over his head or some shit like that. He said, yeah. "Damn, you know, I want you, bro." I want you. That was a really good point. Really good segment. I ain't gonna lie to you though. I do got a participation trophy today. Yeah. I do. Get to that. I ain't got nothing else. Any of these other ones you want to touch on? Sure. Uh, anything you hit me with, I'm, I'm, I'm not talk to talk about. 
I ain't see this meme you talking about. I don't know what that is. Oh, you yeah. So you ain't gonna be able to explain it to me because okay. I don't know what it is. So <laughs> that was the whole point I put it up there because I want somebody to explain it to me. Uh, I just run through a couple things real quick because okay. uh, you want to hit some of these. Let's go. Just just mention it just because you know like next, next week can be got, dead. Got yeah. Shanti back. Kishore got canceled. Shanti got COVID. Yeah. Uh, I feel you, Shanti. I, I had it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I canceled. so people was mad because yeah. they felt like she knew she had it. They waited till the last minute. Yeah, but I think they tried to get it to work where they used to, how they used yeah. to do it, where they would be in separate places. Separate places. But I guess they couldn't get it to work. So yeah, um, they ended up canceling that. But. Um, They'll be back next year. But they did announce a new one today, uh, E-40 vs. Too Short. That's going to be nice. That'll be next. That's next weekend. That's going to be nice. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's shout out to Versus, though. They really gave us something to do during COVID. Yeah. Let me tell you things that, that, that came popular during COVID. Versus came popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't have these as much because people get copyright, but I feel like that's bullshit right now. The DJ parties. Mm, the yeah. DJ sets are going. Can't do it no more because you can't play people music on live. Yeah. Going crazy. Mm-hmm. That was going crazy. Yeah. Well, right. what, what's the name? Let, let it. Um, D nice. Mm-hmm. D nice was killing it. Yeah, yeah. A couple I, of other people was doing. Cause I know Mike Epps. I think Mike Epps was doing it. But there's one. There's there's a rap. There's a DJ from Milwaukee, bro. He top. He like top ten. Yeah, bro. His name is DJ Bizon, bro. Oh, I never mm-hmm. heard of him. Uh, did you ever go to uh that place with me on the east side? That's a restaurant, but they turn into like a club concert that night. Bro, it's a pl- bro. He be there. He be there on like Fridays, bro. And uh, when I say it's fire, bro, like he did a old school versus new school segment and put yeah. the old school songs on the new school beats and new school songs on old school beat. Oh, fire! <laughs> <laughs> Fire, bro! Like that made me think of that dude. Uh, that recently this this dude this week. Uh, he got Oprah to recognize him and send him a new laptop. For real? Yeah, he was a, a DJ. He was and he was doing that. He was putting a song on top of another song, and I've ne- I've never seen him yeah. before until this. But yeah. I went to his Instagram. I and definitely he put a couple of songs over songs. Like, oh, this shit nice. Some old songs over like some Beyonce shit and. Mary J. Blige over other stuff. Bro, he did a, he did one while well, I downloaded it when I was uh people thought it was me. Uh let me see if I can find it really quick. Uh he did one that's so fire. Uh he did like he put like return to Mac over something, bro. Uh let me see if I can find it real quick. It's a core right there. You plug it up. So I can hear it. Oh man, I can't find it, bro. But he did like a it was it was it was fire. People was like, bro, you made that. Bro. Like, dog. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He put like return to Mac or something. Mm. Uh and people were like, bro, that's fire. Like he called, bro. I think I I honestly believe he's best DJ in the city. He or he did he did, uh, opened up like young shook. And you know what I'm saying? Like he called, bro. He, I think he's, I think he's probably like one of the top DJs I heard. Ever. My homeboy was was at the, uh, my bro was at the party with me. That was for my birthday last year before we went, the day before we went to Chicago. He was out there with me. He was like, bro, this, I got the, I got the CD, bro. I'm, I'm gonna slide you. I got an extra CD. I'm gonna slide it to you, bro. You gonna, <laughs> you gonna vibe, bro. You gonna vibe. DJ Bizarre. Oh yeah, so. Um... R.I.P. Tiny, Tiny Lester, a yeah. Debo, aka Zeus. Zeus. R.I.P. Man. Oh yeah. That shit. That shit came. That was random. Yeah. Uh, that's like one of these. You just feel like you gonna live forever. Yeah. Live forever, man. Especially because he didn't look the same yeah. over all these years. And exactly. Shit. Ain't twenty look, plus years. And shit, the exact same. Changed. Exact same. Like damn, they said he was sick. I'm like damn. I didn't even know he was that old. I think the last thing I saw watch that he was in was probably Batman. Oh, I didn't even know he was in Batman. He was in Batman, right? Um uh, The Dark Knight. When they were when the Joker gave them the, the choice, the convicts or the and you had to like press the button. See who was uh see if he was in Dark Knight. 
I'm gonna go to his IMD IMDB here. Bro, you do look the same, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's him right there. Right here? Yeah, bro. When they were uh Yep, Dark Knight, 2008. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> wow. You remember that scene? And I think that, I think I think no, I, I, I don't I, I think I only seen the movie a couple I, times. I, I appreciate I him being that. in that scene because what it was was they were trying to decide. It was two boats leaving the city. Now trying to decide if if the which like it was like people that was like regular citizens and the other well, had a convict on there. And they both gave him a switch. And only one of them, while you had to blow up to use you. Use the switch before the other one did, and he he grabbed the switch and threw it out the window. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though he was a convict, but like they had him as a convict, but like just like they 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 of a uh, scene where they could show where they show his humanity a little bit because he's always been just that a lot of times just that big guy that bully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, show show some humanity for him, bro. And I appreciated that scene a, a whole lot for him, for sure. I'm gonna see what Dark Knight was on. I was like, shit, I'm gonna watch this tonight just to see Dark Knight. It's probably on it. HBO Max. I'm gonna have to get that shit though. Watch on Amazon Prime, three ninety nine. HBO Max. Yeah. Oh, uh, they got my shit. They got what? all the impractical, all every you impractical love, jokers on there, jokers. and they got the movie on there. I ain't seen the movie yet. Oh, I was gonna tell you watch Euphoria. Too. Yeah, I ain't watched that yet. Watch you for you. It's on HBO. And then they got uh they got a couple other things on there that I want to catch. Oh, they got uh all the fresh prints on there too. I'm gonna oh, just yeah. watch that with my son. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Let me tell you, let me tell you the issue with you for you though, real quick. <laughs> People thought it's, kid. it's kids yeah. having sex. <laughs> it's kids having <laughs> But they adults. I know they adults. They really did. Yeah, they really are adults. Yeah. But, but the fact that like I'm sitting here watching like a Cause you're an actor, so I'm supposed to watch. That's why I'm supposed to be. I wonder why nobody never made that a thing the way they made the. Uh, they, you know, they made that. Um, I think it was on Netflix. It was a documentary about kids being abducted, and they was showing them sexualized, and they made a big deal out of that. Really? Yeah, but they never made a big deal out of the euphoria thing. Yeah, I guess because it's just. A and I don't know, show. maybe because it was sex trafficking. Maybe, maybe compared to. Yeah, they. I mean, they're all over eighteen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're all able to show like their shit on TV and stuff like right. that. But still, like, I'm supposed to be watching this a show of uh, high schoolers. Yeah, and these high schoolers having sex. I don't want to technically be watching high schoolers have sex, right. even though technically they adults. Right. That was that was the only issue I had with the show. Yeah. Other than that, watch that shit. That shit fire. I heard <laughs> it's kind of weird though. I don't know if how. Um. I'm not gonna say weird. I want to get with it. I this, this is what I say. It took me to like episode three to enjoy to fully enjoy. So, took me to episode three because I wasn't gonna watch it. And somebody said just keep watching. And it makes it makes a lot of sense. Like it makes a lot of sense. All right, and then uh, Time Magazine Person of the Year Joe Joe Biden and Kamala. Shout out to Kamala. <laughs> I, I think it's Kamala. Kamala? I think so. Then she said it. I think she said it. I thought it was Kamala. I don't know. I think she said on a uh, who podcast was that? Cam. So it's Kamala. I think it's Kamala. Okay. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. She said on what's the, who podcast, bro? I didn't, ESPN, I didn't ESPN, know she was ESPN, ESPN. 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 The chick. Um. Outside the numbers. We got the numbers. No. I don't Mike know. and Jamel Hill. Jamel Hill. Oh. No, Jamel Hill podcast. That's like one of my favorite people in the world, though. Jamel Hill is definitely one of my also, favorite. She ain't been on ESPN in a couple she years is. now. Have you? So she that's is. why I didn't even think about her. But she do her own thing now. I, I love Jamel Hill. She got. <laughs> yeah. I gave her backlash for that Jake. Uh, Jake, wasn't it? Jake Ball? Is it Jake Ball? What happened? With uh, Jake, her and. Um, her and the other black chick. I don't know why I can't think of her name. Carrie Champion? Not Carrie Champion. Um the new the new the new black chick, I think it was. It might have been Carrie Champion. Yeah, the, the uh it might have been Carrie she Champion. African? No, not her. Um the other girl that got remember Dog talked about the what she was wearing. 
That's what I'm thinking of. But it might have been Kerry Champion. Uh, Jamel Hill received a lot of black flash ball stuff. Don't yeah. get off her, bro. She, she I don't just, really like her. You don't like yeah, J- you don't like her? I love her. Even before even even before everything she did now, like she wasn't uh, racist joke. Oh yeah, it was Terry Um but even before all the, the racial shit she did now, like I felt like she was one of them corny black people. I loved her. She she always stood up, she always said what she gotta say. I love Jamil. I'm not she, mad at it. I love but her I'm energy. Just not, I love yeah. Jamil. Jamil is one thing. She's always gonna breathe that energy. You always fuck her energy when she, you know, not corn. Not I don't want to say corny black people, but one of those. I feel one of those black people that try to show too much of they black because, like, oh. I like, get what you're saying. Yeah, like the way oh, she like, like I'm black and you're gonna accept me. You gonna you gonna have to accept this blackness. Like I'm gonna force it on you. I, 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 not I, not I, that you're gonna accept it, but that she did kind of trying to force it. Like she was like, she was, I'm part of the culture. I feel you. And it's like I feel you. But she was she ain't really like. How do I explain it? Like you don't feel like she you know it's you. it's certain black people that just got that kind of black swagger. It's like. Like Obama, like Obama is real uh, proper and, yeah. you know, he can speak well yeah. and all uh-huh. that shit like that. But he still got that black swagger to him. Like, mm-hmm. And there's some black people that ain't really got that. And I feel like she wanted them like her and uh, Jason Williams. And it's like they black. And it's like, I don't want to take away from their blackness, but they ain't really got that. I feel like you can, and and it's not to say that I don't want to say that they proper. It's because I feel like Obama is proper, but he mm-hmm. still got some swagger to him. Like, so and it's hard to explain. Him. I feel like they ain't just ain't got that swagger. Don't be knocking Jamel but they, like this. but they still try to like make sure you know, like, yo, I'm part of the culture. But they don't do it like how people part of the culture do it. If they, I don't know if that makes sense. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Y'all can't see me, but I'm scratching my beard because I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's hard to explain. It's like you got black people. You got, and I don't even want to say black people because there's like white a, people that like a, like a pick me black person. Uh, I don't even know what that means. So I you don't know, know, you know, what pick me culture is right. Basically, no. when people say like men and women be on Facebook, like pick me, like they say something. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you feel like that? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that's the best. That might be the as close as I can get to explain it. Yeah. Oh, and it's no. like, it's, it's like, opposite. you know, like, and I'm not going to take away from her like she don't know the culture. Like, yeah. I'm sure she knows the culture. She, I, she know, I know, like, I ain't even going to say, I, I think. I yeah. know she know more shit than I know because yeah. I've listened to her and heard her say shit about certain stuff, like certain moves and mm-hmm. shit that I don't know mm-hmm. just because I haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't have that it's just the swagger. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. It's just like when you saying certain shit and you, when you addressing certain shit, even when she is bringing up these certain movies and stuff, it's just not. <laughs> so, so basically, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, not her blackness. You just feel like she just ain't got a swagger. Yeah. That's it. I'm not questioning her, her being black and her not her being part of the culture and not so, knowing what the culture is. It's just her, she her definitely swagger. knows all her, that. Her, just the way she presents it is just not as cool as I feel so like, like it you, should be. I, okay, I feel you. So you feel like she she just watched like watch Friday. Yeah, maybe kind of <laughs> like that. <laughs> I got you. Kind of like that. You. Like <laughs> like she know it just because she just saw it. Yeah. But I know she didn't just see it. Yeah, yeah. I know she didn't. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say she just said. There's no way that she didn't just see it and she just brought it up now. I know, but that is the way she do it. She the way she talks about it is like you just saw it for the first time she, ever. She got all the jokes and now she understood. Yeah, and now she's she funny. just overusing it and you over funny. yeah. You funny. <laughs> I, I, I get I get the complete different. I get the I, I get the complete I understand what you say. Once you okay, I understand what you're saying, like about the the swagger and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I feel that, but and I'm not I, questioning I, her. Yeah. She definitely black. I know she black. I know she black. I know she know the culture. I know she knows everything. Yeah. I know she with the culture. It's just when she I'm not just I'm not saying that she's like, not with. Yeah. yeah, it's just the way she does it. It's like 
it's not as appealing fluent, to as me. Fluent as yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, she know it. Like yeah. backhand. You know, she know. I, I, really. It just doesn't. It ain't appealing to me. It doesn't I draw me you. in, and yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna laugh at the joke the way somebody else might have made it. Like she could make the joke, and somebody could make the. Right use joke. the exact like same said, words that right, she used. Right joke. But the way they wrong do person. it is just different. Yeah. Right, right, right joke, wrong person. But the way they do okay. it is just better. And I feel like that's, that's <laughs> that, is, that is something with the culture. Right joke, wrong, wrong person. Yeah. That's definitely a culture thing. And and I feel like that's what happened with what they did. They were they was like, when they asked Jake Paul, they was like, so when you knocked out Nate, Nate Robinson, was it racist? And that's, it didn't hit because that's not y'all. Like y'all, you, you, Y'all don't do that. Like y'all can't make that funny. Okay. And 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 I got the perfect example with it because Charlemagne mm-hmm. said the way he would have did the joke. He said he would have asked Jake Paul, "Do Black Lives Matter?" And Jake Paul would have said, "Yes." And he said, "So why did you kill Nate Robinson?" Way funnier. It's still a racist. It's still <laughs> along the lines of making, trying to make him racist. But it's funnier. It's yeah, better yeah, 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 yeah. than just saying, "Yo, was knocking out Nate Robinson racist?" <sighs> Not really. as funny. Uh, feel you. Okay. But it's like the way Charlemagne said. Oh, so do you believe Black Lives Matter? Yes. So why you kill Nate Robinson? I'd have been way like, funny. I like, way better. I'm like, so did you do this for the culture? He'd be like, yes. <laughs> so I was like, so then black lives don't matter. That's how I exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's I'm it's like, it's that, and that's how it is with everything else she does in our in this culture, in the black culture. It's like right, you program. know it, and you're aware of it, and you've lived in it and consumed it. So you just in feel like real you just, time, you just like but she's you just corny can't in general. Now, you I'm just can't person. do it the way it's really supposed to be done. So, so you feel like she's just corny in general, not a corny black person, just corny in general. Yeah, just corny. In I, general. I don't. I, I don't even want to say corny because I don't like. I don't. I mean, some people are corny. I'm yeah, corny. Some like people corny. are. I'm corny. So, but I. But you was able to make the, it a better joke. Still. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like she can't do those things with anything in the black culture and really make it seem like our culture. I feel you. You just, you just feel like you just feel like. And see, I, and I didn't even want to do this because, because I don't like to. Because <laughs> we already talked about this before. Like I don't want to be the guy that's attacking black women <laughs> and not defending black women. But it's like. It, it's bro, just it, not it. There are some people, stuff is for you, and some stuff is just not. Some some people some people are corny. Some people aren't. That's yeah. what it is. It's, you just feel like she's just corny. There are you. There are men who you feel like is corny. There are white men who you feel like corny. There are black men, Hispanic men. There's people in life who you just feel like are corny. Yeah, and you just feel like she's corny. Yeah, I got you. Here you go. I, just in case anybody was listening, <laughs> just want to wrap that up. So we, yeah. Y'all be coming at Scooter Head. That's two times, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> that's two times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's all I got, man. You want to do your participation? Man, yeah, I'm giving the participation to the Republicans, bro. And I feel like this is a well deserved. Okay. Well deserved one. And them trying to fight the, the election. And I feel like this is, this shows, this shows really the, and it's not all, the, it's not all Republicans, but it shows the, the level of immaturity and the level of uh, the words I want to the words I want you to describe this just don't just I have not found them yet because I've been feeling like this for ever since they lost the election. You lost the election, bro, and you fighting you fighting a fair election, even with popular vote. You fight a fair election that you guys lost shows the unwillingness. And how not participative, I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> you are to share power. And I feel like well, this is you, you are the reason why we have these issues today. Because Absolutely. you lost, it's okay, share the power. And I don't even want to say share the power, share the responsibility. That's way better word shared responsibility and, and that's how I feel yeah and 
the fact that you aren't willing to do so, I think you are what's wrong. But that's my participation trophy. I'm with you. Because that, that's what I think it is. I think it's, it's, it's more about power than it is about responsibility. It's definitely more about power. Because you can still have responsibility without the power. Yeah, but they want. <laughs> but they want the power. They want to be responsible for all the power. So that's share the responsibility. Appreciate that participation trophy. Man, do you got one this week or no? No, nah, I ain't got one. <laughs> that was a good one though. Fill in. Uh, you want to plug your your channel and shit? Man, yeah, for sure. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys can follow me. I'm throw my Twitch. It's most success. Uh, you can find it one word or two words. You should be able to find it. Uh, that's on Twitch. Twitch TV. Uh, that's where I'm really taking off at. I decided to diversify early, and uh. YouTube is just taking too long, bro. <laughs> <It's getting paid. laughs> so you got that. And uh, you guys can follow me at, uh, on YouTube, Most Success Gaming. I'll be on uh, IG, iSuccess. Yeah, I think I need to change my uh, Twitter. It's still flying, bro. Fly, the letter N, bro. Definitely follow me. Uh, you don't even be on there. You don't even be on Instagram like that, do you? Nah. That's much, bro, <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to work on other stuff, bro. Working on all this stuff, I'm trying to kind of get right, you know what I'm saying? So when you live, what are you live on? Uh, I flip through, I switch between Twitch and YouTube. Switch between Twitch and YouTube. So because I have X amount of followers on YouTube, so when people if they if they follow you on it, they're gonna they're gonna want to see either where I don't lose if I, as long as I post once a week on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Or as long as I post once, you know, as long as I post. I don't know how, how it is on Twitch, but as long as I know I post once a week on YouTube, then I'll stay in algorithm. Mm. So I try to do like two, two or three times, two streams, at least a week on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not included pod everywhere, y'all know. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Yeah, you heard that one a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to start a Facebook. I tried to start one, but they was make, trying to make it seem like the app had it. Like, I didn't want to do a personal page. I was trying to do like a. Do it under your page. You have to do it under your page. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or you may have to just like start a creator's page. So. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do, but they was trying to make it seem like I had to do it like a regular page, like my shit. Yeah. Uh, I ain't doing that. Yeah. The show. the show. I think I already started the YouTube, didn't I? I mean, the Facebook. Did you? I think I don't so. Know. I think so. I look. I it. thought you did, but I, I looked it up and I didn't see. See, I was probably not lie because uh, I don't think I ever had the chance to finish it. Oh. <laughs> we didn't have a logo and stuff yet. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But I think I looked it up. So I'm like, Man, I thought he started when I looked it up, but I didn't see it. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, you didn't. Mm hmm. You taking oh, off with, it, with the podcast, bro? It's fire, bro. Oh, yeah. right. Say like I said last time. Come back. <laughs> hey, right Tell me, y'all. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Without me having to ask. Tell him that. Uh, this is one day. I'll, this is one day. It's funny because one day I'll say, shoot you a text like, hey, y'all recording today? And uh, what happened that day? Something happened that day. Uh, I think I fell asleep. I think I was out for like the whole day. I don't think I slept like that night. You know what I'm saying? And I woke mm-hmm. up and I'm like, well, it's kind of it's kind of too late to ask now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, man. That's it, man. We out. Hey.